What's up? It's your girl, Brianna B. And make sure y'all tune into the hottest podcast in the city, Shy vs. Everybody. It's your boy Shot, Shot vs. Everybody Podcast. Hey man, what episode number is this? 12 or 13? I don't know. Shit, one of them motherfuckers, dog. But we got two people in here that I didn't think was gonna come. <laughs> Surprised they came, thought they was gonna motherfucking flake out on me and shit. Couple of uh, family members down here. Got my homegirl, Fair. Say what's Yo, up, what up, what up, what up? Got my dog Lance in the building. You might heard me talk shit about Lance on last episode, man. He here now, though. What up? <laughs> what's good, man? So look, we gonna start off like this, man. It's a new year. So we're going to talk about highs and lows of 2019 before we go ahead and move on with the show. So think about y'all year last year. Get together and tell me what was some fucked up moments, some good moments. Like personal stuff? It could, it could be personal. Whatever you want to go ahead and give out, dog. Just some, some messed up shit that happened, dog, in 2019. And some good shit, though. If you ain't got nothing that's messed up and it's all good, then shit, keep it like that. 2019. <laughs> I lost my job last year at the beginning of the year. Oh, that's always fucked up. Yeah. And, uh... But I managed, you know. I bounced back. Yeah. Well, no, it didn't make no difference, so that was a good thing. Okay, cool. What else? What else? It was some good stuff. I got a great fucking job. Twenty fifteen, <laughs> so shit. I love it. What's some what's some what's some fucked up shit that you, you some goals that you ain't get accomplished that you was like, damn. Um, well, one thing I'm kind of disappointed in myself is, nigga. I started off the year good as hell, losing weight like a motherfucker. <laughs> I was I was slim as hell, but dog. <laughs> Once summer hit, I just started blowing back up, dog. Yeah, cause, cause Drinking we, every night, getting yeah. drunk, eating mad nasty food and shit. You do that anyway, dog. But I think <laughs> it's easier to lose that weight in the uh, in the, in the winter time than when you get hot, cause it's hot. You in the streets running around, man, exactly. Eat some motherfucking McDonald's real quick. All that good shit, man. What what else? Ain't no other good shit, or bad shit happening, y'all. Uh, no, I still get... travel, still do me. Oh yeah, she, you always traveling in motherfucking Bermuda and. <laughs> I ain't South been there yet. <laughs> Antarctica, so I'm gonna die. I'm gonna go one day. That shit, go one day, that shit be know. funny. All right, well, shit, this is what we gonna do. I got a new thing. Since the last podcast we was uh, on, uh, Kobe had died or whatever. And uh, after that, we lost what? Yesterday, uh, this DJ, what was his name? Slick B or something? Or yeah, something? Slick B. Yeah, I heard he died on some, on some bullshit or whatever. Like, yeah, I heard he was a good dude or whatever. So I got this, this little segment called Salute Me While I'm Here. So it's easy to pick somebody like your mama, your daddy, your brother or something, but pick somebody who will be surprised that you said something about them. Like somebody you salute while they're here, like why you think they're important or whatever. It could be a homie. It'd be whatever. While y'all marinate on that, I started off then. So, uh, but the person I'm going to go with is uh, Kanye and, uh, Jackson. That was my uh, little brother, first uh, basketball coach or whatever. And uh, she, she's been good people. It's like, Every time I talk to her, she always like, you know what I'm saying, saying how proud she is of uh, uh, me and my little brother and shit. She was super cool with my, uh, with my moms or whatever. So with her, it was like, it was like she made coaching look cool when she, and she was like cool with the kids and shit like that. So I'm going to salute her, you know what I'm saying, as my first person in this little segment. What's up? What, who y'all got, man? What y'all got? Ooh. It don't, it, it don't, be, don't be shy, man. <laughs> Don't, and don't cry while y'all tell the story either. <laughs> I know y'all probably look at me like, damn, he gonna cry. Uh, if you can't think damn. of somebody, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> I mean, I got a couple people I can think of, you know. There's just, it's, it's just, uh, it's, it's just, it's one person that'd be surprised. Like, damn, she, she picked me out. God damn, I feel good about myself. Because you don't want it too many times, especially when my man passed away, you'd be like, damn. They be saying all this good stuff about you when you when you dead, but yeah, what yeah. the fuck? Why you couldn't say that shit while he was alive? Y'all niggas can salute me. Shut up. Fuck you, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna say I salute all of y'all. I mean, I enjoy being around y'all all the time. I wouldn't imagine, you know, 
Yeah. Y'all not being here one day or whatnot like that at this time, at the, you know, in yeah. this moment or whatnot. Yeah. So I must salute all of y'all. I mean, I just met y'all a couple of years ago, so mm-hmm. we don't got that much history. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's been real ever since. That's since day one. Yeah. What, fuck, what fuck you doing, man? I know you too tough and shit. You, got, you know what I'm saying? Man, I don't know. I, I can't think of no like one specific person to point yeah. out, but I just want to let everybody know all my families and friends, my my real true friends, like y'all. Oh no, I love y'all very much. <laughs> it's all real, genuine. Hell yeah, hell yeah. See, that's the, I just thought about that shit because I'm like, dog, especially with this shit being on video, you can go ahead like if something did happen to me or something or. You can always come back like, damn, that nigga was a good nigga. Like, right. I'm a good motherfucker, cuz. All right. <laughs> but, all right, so we're going to do this. I know y'all want to talk about some freak nasty stuff and relationship stuff. Freak. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we're going to do. We're going to start it off as a topic, and then from that topic, we're going to break things down. So, you know, Power, the last episode aired tonight. Most motherfuckers saw it like three weeks ago, like me. And with, I. Well, yeah, so with the whole, you know, who shot ghosts and shit, made me think about something. So we talking about relationships, so this is what we're going to do. We what type of chick, and you can say what type of chick you are. What type of chick feeds you energy, and what type of chick do you need around your life? I say that because Ghost had Tasha, and then Ghost had Angie. So you know you had one chick who was with him on the ride, but you had one chick who was trying to get him to, you know, saying be a corporate man. And like if you remember on the first episode, uh, Tasha was like, when he's like, "What do you see in me?" He was like, "You, you know, biggest gangster in the, in 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 the, in the world, whatever." But then Angie wanted that nigga to be like, you know, what I'm saying this corporate dude. And I think the reason why he kind of like said fuck Tasha was because she didn't see him no, no more than being a drug dealer. Like when he was trying to, you know, what I'm saying be corporate and get into the business scene, her and uh and uh, Tommy was trying to hold him back and shit. So that's why I think like he was like, man, you know what? Fuck you. You ain't trying to build me up. So I'm I'm through, or whatever. So what type of chick, Lance? Do you you know what I'm saying would you go for a Tasha type chick or Angie type chick and then fan what type of chick you feel that you are a combination of both or one? All right, well, Tasha, I think it was kind of like she just knew what this nigga was good at. Yeah. So she was trying to keep him focused on that. Like nigga, you got this shit on lock. Mm-hmm. You a goddamn kingpin. Why you want to try to do some other shit? Yeah, Rich not getting no bread no more. Yeah, but I think Angie was more so like, um. You know, like she wants you for like wanted him for like you know who he was. Like she ain't want that other shit. I guess yeah. when she found out about that yeah, shit, yeah, she yeah. really ain't want that shit. But I don't know. I, I think I would want like a, a damn. See, it's hard to say. Cause it's hard. Was, it's it's pros know, and cons. Was riding yeah, die, yeah. it's pros and cons for both of them, dog. Like, but dog, it was like Angie was like. Uh, you know, I want you. Yeah. Like, not all this stuff, what you could bring. Like, I want you for who you are. Like, yeah. you ain't got to do all this and all this other bullshit. Hell yeah. So. And kind of, because you, you, when you look at them, I guess, like, Angie was, like, the chick that he wanted. I don't know what, you know what I'm saying, she did or what happened. I think she moved or something. Yeah, I don't I know. Yeah, she left. Like yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So then, you know, with Tasha, I said it was fucked up because they already had family and shit. Right. And all that junk. And then, like, I don't know, they could have worked that shit out. But at the end of the day, you just... Nah. I don't know what's you need a combination of both, I, I believe. I don't think they could have worked it out because he, I say I'm in between both of them because, of course, yeah, you may start off struggling and whatnot like that, but you have to have a goal in life. And Angela was like his goal. Yeah. So Tasha was the beginning. He wanted her to go off and build with her because every, most people say, you know, your woman is your, your backbone and she should have been there to be like, okay, yeah, we we selling drugs right now, yeah. but we're going to be in this corporate world because <laughs> yeah. we got the drive to do this. We can do this too. Yeah, you get yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. All right, you got to clean your money. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Which they, you know, they had that lockdown anyways, but yeah. anyway, you don't want to have to keep living with looking over your shoulder. Yeah. Right. Know? So, um, yeah, I, I say, yeah, we got to start off selling drugs today, but tomorrow, hey. Let's yeah. look and see if we can build this business or, you know, make yeah, yeah. this money flip some other type of way or do all of it together. But at the same time, let's concentrate on this more, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, then yeah, because that's like me and, um, me and uh, my fiance, your cousin, was talking like you need friends and stuff that's going to build you up. Because my brother, my older brother said some shit that was real. Like the folks, yeah, your, 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 your closest friends is you. Yeah. So if you see that your friends ain't doing shit, like you around that that energy, like eventually it's gonna rub off on you. Mm-hmm. But if you're around some people, like damn, these motherfuckers doing way better than me, it's gonna it's gonna it should push you to do better. Exactly. And that's how I see. Like you said, Angie was like what he wanted at the mm-hmm. end, and then Tasha like. But the thing about Tasha though, she had come back, and like she was like uh, that hooper of the team that like you ain't shit, but when you need them, they gonna come through. Whenever whenever yeah. they got caught in the jam, he seen that Tasha like damn she. 
She know what she doing though. But that was the problem though, cause she was always there for his his bad times. You know, yeah. it was like the good moments was when he spent with Angela. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that shit yeah. crazy though, man. So, what you think? Uh, what, what the fuck happened to the little girl though? Like to speak up power. <laughs> like even even like I ain't gonna give up the last episode. It was like, no, where are you though? Like. They going the through baby. some real shit. She just at grandma's house every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough out here, so you know they want to. You know they already put Tyreek and uh, Rain, what's her name, the other one Rain into it, it and got her killed or whatnot like Man. that. So I guess they say, look, we got hide one good seed. Man, I know. Go ahead, <laughs> out the bunch. But the grandma really ain't shit either. If you yeah, see, she, she not. be like. Like, she just ain't shit though. Yeah. Man. Like, she everybody... just like that's where Tasha get her mentality from or whatnot. Cause she edged the shit on like you gotta stick by your man no matter what. So what he cheating, you just yeah. stick be there, you know. But see, she got that old grandma mentality. Yeah. Cause I, I'm quite sure like everybody grandparent for the most part then went through some shit like that. Mm-hmm. And then unlike you know what I'm saying the new era, they shit a girl or do a dip on you in the first heart in, the, in the heartbeat right. or the first thing. Yeah. But grandmas and went through motherfucking my grandma the kids <laughs> like my grandma did too. Like, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? My uh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Family yeah. 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 Look, Kayana you know wouldn't be here if it yeah. wasn't. You know? Yeah, shit for me when I found out about that. I didn't yeah. know nothing about that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it was with um, you know, what I'm saying my side. But then you got the the grandparents that just just ride or die for you, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Dog. So yeah. speaking of with that, we can go ahead and turn it to this. If uh. What can you forgive and what can't you forgive in a relationship? Like your girl did this. I like, can't. One thing I can't. I, I can't forgive cheating at all. That's not gonna happen with me. Like I can. You, fuck that. People, like, probably, people probably think I'm crazy, but dog. Explain. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, right. Elaborate on that. Excuse <laughs> me. I feel like man, if you've been with somebody forever, dog. It's kind of hard to resist temptations. Okay. Can yeah. we pause? What's your definition of forever? For a long, it's like some years. Not like you. If you start dating a motherfucker and a month later they didn't cheated on you, then you know, or you know, early on it's a wrap on it that. Right. Okay. Yeah. But if you've been with somebody for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, or whatever, mm-hmm. motherfuckers make mistakes, and I feel mm-hmm. like that ain't something you should end a good thing over. Like, all right, you gotta, you gotta admit you was wrong. Y'all yeah. gotta, you know, work yeah. your way through this and figure out how ways. How you figure out how you're not going to do that shit again. But I don't think cheating is something you should end a great relationship over. Do, do Niggas it. make a mistake. Women's do too. Yeah, but what type... Hey, like, what if you come in the crib and you just see her in the, in the bed with Donald and something like... <laughs> and, and she he in that mother power drive with your girl and you just walk in like... Because I just one dude who worked at my job... He uh he said he he used to be a police officer and he had he had midnight shift or whatever he worked midnight so his best friend who was in his wedding he came back to the crib one night because he forgot I guess it, some something and he came back and seen that his wife and his best friend was in bed or whatever so he just said he didn't do shit he didn't with nobody else he just left went back to work talked to his boss about it and then filed for divorce now can you. Forgive somebody like you walking like you you wouldn't disrespect me like a mother exactly. like this is the bed I slob in everything in you just hit this boy getting power drive by Donald right. Craig and all these people like then what you gonna be Donald that <laughs> like, her ass too shit but why why attack him if he you okay you said he knew Donald though. That's his, that's, oh, that's his, that's his friend. Okay, yeah, you that's gotta right. whip his ass. You right. Yeah. You right. So can you forgive your girl for that? Cause no, no, hell, hell no. no. Especially not with your yeah, friend. Depending on certain yeah. people, you couldn't forget that shit. Yeah. Like, nah. you know, well, now me, I don't. If you cheat, dog, it's, it's it's over. It's over. It ain't no. Yeah, my it, conscience will fuck with me. Yeah, cause then I'm, every, every time, time you leave the house, like, what then, the fuck did you do? <laughs> and Lance, you know, as a man, dog, once you uh, once your girl, you know, get. If, Get hit by somebody else. You think about the crazy shit while you doing like damn. Was his was his jump bigger than mine? I was like right. for real. Like, yeah. <laughs> damn, yeah. did he do this right? Like damn, what, damn. She bring out something new to the bed. You like damn. She never did this with me. Like god damn it. This nigga crazy. It's all everything. Like yeah, so, nigga, no, I can't, <laughs> dog. Cause I can't, dog. So I can't. I can't do it. I can't. Like oh, yeah. and I don't really talk about my old relationship, but that's how I was. Like I ain't gonna say nobody cheat on each other. I think it was a little bit of both, but. If I knew when I was with you, you was a virgin and stuff like that, and then we did this and that, like, no, nah, hell no, nah. I'm good. And then that's what it was. It was it was a rap, nigga. It was a nigga. I, and niggas thought I was playing like, nigga, no. Like, once you do something like that, you cross the line. She was a virgin when y'all first. Yeah, cause we was we was super we was super young. I was thinking about that today, like uh, how us as women go off and do stupid shit, like start cheating or whatnot, yeah. like that. Because like, do we be looking at it like? 
are we supposed to be living this whole life? You know, yeah. everybody <laughs> test the water. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it's something or whatnot. I mean, I guess in her defense, we was both young, so we, nobody, I mean, I was, yeah. I was doing dumb shit. So she shit. felt like she needed to do a whole, yeah. whole, the whole, uh, yeah. a whole Cause, session. Because we like, what, we like, what, we two years apart? Best two so I, 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 I'm knowing her for a long time, so, you know, we got a kid together and stuff like that, so, like, damn, I ain't never really get to live. Oh, yeah. But me, I, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I was living. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> I was doing, but I wasn't like doing the dirt that she thought. I was just doing little stupid shit, like mm-hmm. just having conversations with motherfuckers. Like it wasn't nothing major, but it's like once you cross that line, nigga, ain't no coming back, dog. Yeah, I agree. So, so how how y'all been cheating on? Or have y'all done some cheating or both? I did both. Yeah, definitely you, you both. You got caught. I did. In the act? In the act? No, it oh. was that. no. Uh, he went through my phone. Oh, see, that's some shit. Oh, hell yeah. no. Yeah. Ain't no. That's one thing you don't want to do. Like I said in this show a long time ago, that I I would not go through your phone because yeah. me and Alex could be we that got shit to, corny to me. You yeah, to because my dumb, my dumb ass gonna look in two thousand and nine like what the fuck like you gonna be hurt you know <laughs> like, fuck me, like, right. I can't believe she was like that oh nine like I don't want <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> you wasn't even around nigga my right. son, motherfucker you wasn't no you ain't no shit about this person but you just I just don't want to know like I don't want to know nothing like nigga I don't want to even look. Cause I you think been, he did it though to suspect it, cause he was cheating. You know, yeah. you, you got that guilty conscience, so yeah. it's like you know, you call your phone, call somebody's phone, and they don't answer. Like, where the fuck was you at last night? You weren't here, or you didn't answer. So oh, yeah. when you come back finally, you know me, I'm a night creeper. So when I came back, he went through my phone. I was in the bathroom. So right. See, but you can't do that though. You can't just be like not answering your phone at night though. Cause then my mind, I mean, if I'm doing something, I'm not going to answer the phone. What time, though, is it? We talking like... <laughs> you know, I come and be out at 3 or 4 yeah. o'clock in the morning, so... But then, like, time, to me, I'm going to start thinking like, after... Let me see. Club, get out of 2. Niggas go out, hop in Coney Island between 2 and 3. Only thing open after... Giving, uh, the benefit yeah. of doubt. Only thing That's open so after sweet. 3 is the gas station, Coney Island, and legs. Hey, legs. <laughs> the truth. That's it. So, I'm like, hold on, cause you, you at Coney? No. You shouldn't be at the gas station because shit, you should be pumping. And if you're doing that, you can answer your phone, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, hell yeah. So you got you got a limit, man. Like that's why you gotta get the person that's for you. Exactly. If you know you don't want nobody in the streets like that, don't give it nobody in the streets like that. That's true. If you that's know true. you want the type of person like you gotta just get that person. Like you can't change nobody. For exactly. Like, exactly. Because ninety uh, percent of all women cheat and niggas will never find out. Like because yeah, women women are smarter than dudes at the end of the day. Are. Genius, dog. Yeah, like, and that, that's right. shit you would never find out, dog. Man. I personally got a guilty conscience, so I was gonna tell him myself eventually, anyway. <laughs> and I was gonna end up saying something. You would ask me a question that had shit to do with nothing, but I'm gonna tell you, like, all right, nigga, I did yeah. it, like, you know. So y'all ever been in a relationship where y'all was 100 percent committed? Yeah. yeah sure, I'm talking about to the fact that y'all ain't having conversation with dudes or women, nothing. Most definitely. Yeah. How hard is that? Or it, it depends on like the person. What you mean? How hard like, is, is it? Is it hard to do it? Like, do you get no. t- temptation from seeing somebody else? Because you always gonna see somebody as look better than you. Like, you, I mean, like, it's always gonna be a nigga look better than you and a female look better than you. That's so true. you, it, it's like you, you looking for that that nest big ass or, <laughs> or cute face? Like, you gonna always find that. So you gonna keep cheating? Like, you know what I'm saying? So All right. And, and I, I think what it is with me is that if I just assume from off the rip that this is what type of person you are, then I'm just going to do me regardless anyways. But if I know for sure or have a feeling that you're going to be loyal, then I'm going to be loyal to you. Yeah. So that's how I go with me. I mean, even if you are super committed and loyal and shit, like... You human, so you still gonna look at other people and find yeah. somebody yeah. else attractive. That don't yeah. mean and then, yeah, exactly. Man. Right, right, right. I don't got no problem with my nigga looking or whatnot like that, man. We can talk about the shit together, but yeah. you man, know. Shit, I've, I've, I've been in a long relationship before, yeah. and my dumb ass didn't get caught flirting, but yeah. it was just fun for me. Like, I really, I ain't do shit with them chicks. I wasn't trying to be with them, but nigga, sometimes you just want to flirt. Like, this is just a man thing to do. Like, women probably do it too. I don't know, but. Mm-hmm, we definitely do. Flirting yeah. is fun. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like I ain't gonna lie Just cause uh, I'm sitting next to uh, My fiance family Like this part This is the only relationship I've been in That I haven't talked to Nobody else so, okay. so then what you That's when you be like Damn this, Maybe this motherfucker Really for me then Shit I ain't right. mean, like, I'm not tempted yeah. Like then yeah. Once you get with somebody You be like Damn like You start putting Your, your shoes in their feet Like like yeah, we, hold on, I say it right. Your feet, they shoot. <laughs> shoot with they feet. Yeah. <laughs> so you like them? If they did this, like they'd be fucked up. Like you have a guilty conscience. Like I feel like if you could cheat on somebody, you just don't give a fuck about them. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day. But then if you be like, damn, I, I really hurt this person. I don't or, think that, dog. I, no, I would. 
Like, no, I couldn't do it. Like, I couldn't get myself to do it because, shit, I was a good person. Like, I couldn't do it. Shit, I feel like a, a whole ass nigga, dog, just for doing it. Like, mm -hmm. I, if I, even though I'm, I know this ain't gonna happen, I know ain't gonna, shit, not gonna work, ain't shit gonna happen between us, but, you know what I'm saying? I had to tell her, I wouldn't, you couldn't cheat on nobody like that's a, you yeah, know, as yeah, a good yeah. person and what fuck around Just sit around you. and be right. lying yeah. to her. Yeah. 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 Maybe it's just because I think different yeah. from everybody else, dog, but. Motherfuckers, it's human. No, you are, dog. But you just gotta put that trust and be like, uh, you just gotta believe that shit. Like, dog, I think they said like it's only a handful of species on Earth that's monogamous. That's like humans and fucking geese and some shit like that, dog. For real. You see dog shit, nigga. They be all around humping everybody. Dog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. People legs, other dog, dogs, dog, other man. people legs. Dog, that shit funny, but yeah, yeah, that's true. So shit, when you uh, when you break up with somebody, me and Lance were talking about this shit last night, like. Can you still be cool with your ex family? Yeah, yeah, I'm still cool with my ex family. So, like, how that shit go? Like, do you come around like bar family barbecues? Yeah, man, I'm still cool. Yeah, you know, I mean, there's still something. You know, I guess we still got that. That well, let, let me say this: we started off as friends before we hooked up, yeah. and we know so much about each other. It's just like you know, ain't no. Just ending everything because yeah. we still close or whatnot. Way yeah. before we got into our situation or whatnot like that. So at the end of the day, it's just like, is we gonna say fuck everything and just not speak to each other? And mm. we know all of these people together. We did mm. build this world together or whatnot like that. Yeah. Or just be in this world and be cordial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, Lance? Like, I ain't trying to put your business out there. Like, can we talk about your uh, marriage and shit? Yeah. Alright, so, um, so can you 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 married like a motherfucking shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like when I, that's a, so when me, me knowing you, I know you was you know what I'm saying been you been in that relationship for a minute. Like y'all invested some time. Like can you still be cool with her peoples and is she still cool with yours? Yeah, like I, I was married and you know we was together for ten years. So you know her family became my family and my family love her. So yeah. you know we ain't got no ill feelings towards each, towards each other nothing like that like mm -hmm. yesterday she was at my uh, cousin baby shower my cousin invited her and she came yeah. so you know it's all love like you know we could be cool we yeah. could be cordial like we could be friendly like we could laugh and joke and everything yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but you know I, I've had family members before who had exes who still came around you know cause it's all love like yeah. it's genuine like but then it's like dog don't that that shit seem like it be a little yeah, I don't know a little different a little uncomfortable like I mean I don't know it just depends on like if y'all can have a, a great relationship then yeah. it can be cool maybe but then what if one of y'all get like into another relationship then that's when shit start looking a little weird like the other like say yo uh you get with a new, a new chick or whatever and y'all y'all for real and right. then she's seeing your ass wife still coming to things and y'all ain't got no kids together you, don't you feel like she gonna be like, damn? Why the fuck she always coming to things and stuff? Like I'm, I'm not good. Oh, with yeah, because I would ask some shit like that. I myself. would be uncomfortable yeah. in that situation. Yeah. yeah. But, but see, uh, I think that's a little different just because, like, as far as us getting married, shy in the wedding and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. and then, like, that's how I knew. Like, you know, even um, shout mom. I remember one time she had hit me up after we went to a baby shower, uh, and she like, yeah, you need to uh, marry her. Like, she real cool and she, yeah. she yeah. real good to uh, to little Rashad and was and what and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Like damn, but yeah, it ain't none of that. Like even like I can mess with her. Like me and Alice was at her, like her uh her in laws crib, and I'm fucking around drinking with her goddamn stepdad. Like I never thought I see that day because oh, right. we was, we didn't say shit to each other. Like if it was for my son, I wouldn't know who she is. Like mm -hmm. I don't talk to exes at all. Like once I'm an ex, like I'm I'm an ex. I'm a memory. Like we not Facebook friends. Like nigga, none of that junk. Like I'm kind of. I don't care about my, my, my family cool with you and stuff on 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 Facebook, but don't don't invite that person over my crib, dog. So y'all can be cool with y'all exes, man. I, I can't do that, dog. Like, so all right, so can you in relationship? Can your ex be cool with their ex? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I'll answer that question while y'all married. I mean, fuck no. Come on, thing is like, what y'all talking about? Like, I don't, I'm good. I can't do that because I'm like, uh, uh, because like. Like I, once again, I will put my my feet in them shoes. <laughs> like, oh, no, dog, I didn't see like ex couples like you know they then you know separated or whatever and like got into different relationships, even got married and shit. And like they were still like they became like married couple friends. If they yeah. you know ex, I've seen that shit. So yeah. I mean, I don't some, know, sometimes it can work. Some people just got I don't know though. I just ain't got mm, that. It could be hard to trust. Like 
Mm-mm. Y'all mm-hmm. motherfuckers can't beat this Just guy. Just like really. the guy I'm talking to now or whatnot, his ex or whatnot, he still got feelings for her, you could tell or whatnot like that. But she went off and got married. So I would have an issue with him communicating with her. Mm-hmm. Because I know for sure that you still got feelings for her, you know? Mm-hmm. But if I, like, get the vibe that you, like, fuck her or whatnot like that and... Yeah, I just laugh and joke with this whole every now and then. Then mm. maybe, yeah, no, you I, know, I, I can't do it because then y'all got inside jokes and shit. Y'all laugh about motherfucker. It's a, a taco salad story. We got taco salad. They like, ah, laugh. Be like, what the fuck's so funny? <laughs> oh, this some shit that we went through on taco salad night. Like, like, no, fuck no. I mean, man. but then if you were explaining it to me, but if you being secretive about stuff, yeah, I feel you. Nah, yeah. you no, I can't. can't. Like yeah. I said, again, ain't like, no, no, no. Uh, Memory lane yeah. type stuff got you know, no, Yeah, right. I can't. Yeah, you can't. Like, I just don't think it should be like. Once you ask, man, you ask. I mean, you can be cool with that person until mm-hmm. you get to the next relationship. And now you with me, nigga. Hey, motherfucker. Um, tell nigga Craig get the fuck on. <laughs> I ain't fucking around with Craig. Like, nigga. No, you know a Craig for real, nigga. That's no, yeah, that's, that's a nigga. His name is no, killing me, Donald Craig. Craig is a funny ass name to be. Right. Like, I hate them <laughs> niggas, Donald Craig, dog. <laughs> I know Craig. He a twin, dog. He was dirty back in the day. Little dirty Craig and shit, dog. And that's, okay, that explains it. He gonna find nah. He, he gonna see this and find <laughs> it. <laughs> All right, so since we, we, we gonna stay on the whole relationship thing, like, dog, and y'all talking about dating and everything, what about, uh, should, 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 should niggas or, or, I said I'm gonna stop saying niggas, should dudes or females have they, they stuff in order, in order to date somebody? Should I be making a certain amount of money before I even ask you on a date or to even talk to you? No. Because I had one chick that said, Hell yeah. Then I had one chicken who said, like, no. Nah, like, I mean, it, it depends, depends on goes. what type of person you dealing with. Like, if you're dealing with a girl that's looking for somebody to take care of her, of course you're going to look for a nigga that's, right. you know, yeah. on that level or whatnot like that. But if y'all, like I said before, if y'all going to find that person that's going to help y'all build something together, then, no, nah, you ain't got to come. If you got that drive, you know, prove to me that you got that drive that we not going to be in this situation that we in forever. Yeah. Then I, we can move forward. But I think it's all personal preference, but like you can't be mad at somebody for liking what they want as long yeah. as they tell you up front. Like yeah. I want a dude who make a hundred thousand dollars. So you can't be mad at her. No, you're right, that's what I'm saying. I mean, up front, so yeah, like, uh, check you me. Me. I'm <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, like, exactly. I'll let you tomorrow. <laughs> right. Yeah, I had one dude with my job, like he was like, uh like, man, I don't make enough money like to be talked to like certain chicks I be messing with because he be in the club all day, or whatever, so he like, yeah, I got to be making a certain amount of money before I even talk to a chick. And then, I, I don't know, though. It just depends because he said he stayed with his mama still. So, he like, he ain't really trying to mess nobody for real, for real, too. I, I can understand that. Like, maybe if you like, oh, I stay with my mom still. Like, I, I want to get my own crib and stuff like that. That's right. cool. Yeah. But if you talking about, like, nigga, I got to be goddamn in the, in, in the Forbes uh, list right. to be talking right. to you. Like, that's so crazy, dog. Like, yeah. Right, like, shit. I don't care, like, how much a chick make. Like, as long as I know... She work, hold a job and shit, yeah. like, take care of her own. Like, right. I don't want somebody who be like, I got to pay her fucking bills to yeah. date her. Like, what the fuck? You got some chicks that be like that, though, too, though. <laughs> man. Like, that's like the, the girl at the bar, like, you try to holler, like, you going to buy me a drink? Like, man, hell no. I ain't buying no drink. Yeah, hell <laughs> I mean, I guess it's because you do got people though. that's out here looking to take care of people, you man. know. I know somebody, she make $80,000 a year, and she'll date some little young boy that's 23 years old just yeah. off of the strength that she could control him. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. know, so you, you got different people that then, do different things. Different and things. Money, I think I heard your guy say on the C, like, it don't matter how much money you making, your girl going to cheat on you with a motherfucking janitor. Yeah. You'll be making exactly. a hell of money. Exactly. <laughs> she's still gonna do what she wanna do, dog. Yeah. You ain't gonna never know because women are smart. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, oh shit, this nigga created the plumber. <laughs> <laughs> nigga that fuck mess around there. with the pool boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like what was that one movie? She was messing around with the pool dude. I was thinking about it, God of it. damn it. Yeah, I think it was um damn, some movie she was messing around with the pool nigga mm-hmm. and shit, dog. That's crazy. But that like, should be fucked up though, dog. Like like, that shit just be crazy. Niggas, all right, go back to, to you, Lance, though. Like, you said you was married, uh, y'all was together. I think I had used you as an explanation, but I didn't put your name out there. I was just like, like sometimes marriage could change people. Like, it's like before marriage, y'all be super tight, but as soon as the as soon as the I dudes come around, they expect, like, a whole different you. Like, nigga, explain your shit, like, like for the people who, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, I, uh, I think for, like, my situation, it was like, uh... Once we got married, like, expectations change, but, yeah. like, you got to understand, like, to reach certain goals, you still got to take the necessary steps, and yeah. 
It's like some people think like stuff's supposed to change overnight. Like, yeah. no, I can't like I can't <laughs> you know pull a new house and new car out my pocket. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, I got to make sure I can afford it. Got to make sure my credit right. Like, you yeah. got to take the necessary steps to yeah, you know exactly. achieve them type of things. Hell yeah, yeah. What what what, 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 you, what you think some shit that could have saved it? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, <man. laughs> <laughs> she was destined to happen. <laughs> like, but dog, that shit crazy though. Y'all, dog, that's a that's a and minute. What do you dog. think you had? Like, what was your feelings about it? Like, was you blaming yourself? Uh, no, uh, not really. But I was trying to do things to fix the situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause sometimes like you probably you feel like you was doing like probably doing too much and shit. Like, right. oh man, fuck yeah, this. Yeah, I was like, well, I'm like man, fuck this. Thing. Yeah, would you that type of nigga like after the breakup like just sitting on the couch for like a couple weeks? Man, hell no, I'll be high in demand, nigga. You <laughs> want me, nigga, shit. Where I go. You know what? <laughs> for real. Dog, nigga, I was losing weight, nigga. I was in, I, 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 I left a dead my mama couch, nigga. I was just sitting there every day. <laughs> I love a bitch. She go to work at three, come back at eleven, I'm in the same spot. Crying. crying. <laughs> nigga, I ain't eat, nigga. I'm in that bitch just looking, nigga, at bad TV like. Yo, what the fuck? Bad then, TV, nigga. That was a long ass time ago. No, no, I know. I said I was looking at TV. TV. Oh. But then the fucked up thing about I remember, dog. Cause I moved back with my mom's or whatever, and then uh, of course I needed a job. Cause I wasn't working. So then I, everybody who could get me a job, her motherfucking uh, stepbrother was like, I got a job for you. So, but the only thing about it, I got work with her. Mm. Like what the fuck? We just broke up though. So then I'm like, I told my mom, like, I ain't taking that job. I'm like shit, yes you is. So you about to get out my house? I'm like all right, fuck, I take the job. Oh, wow. <laughs> so but then while we just broke up a month ago, so I'm seeing her smile on the phone like this motherfucker probably texting Craig. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole time I'm trying to clean up and job. Clean. Matter of fact, the crazy thing about it, the school that we was working at together was Bradford. Not knowing that my fiance would be at Bradford, I'll be coaching there. Like, destiny we, or something. Yeah. So I'm at this school. And we young. I'm like, what the fuck? I shouldn't be. I only did that job for a, a month and a half. I had to hurry and get a new job because can't be saying seeing you happy. And I'm in this. But <laughs> <laughs> hey, he wasn't smiling like that. When we was together. What the fuck? All right. So yeah, I had to hurry and get out that situation, man. Yeah, like and then, cool. like, would your would your mama uh, like telling you like mamas always know like when um, when females doing you dirty like would your mama like telling you like Lance you being stupid boy? Mm, no, not really, but. Honestly, I ain't never, I only brought like two women around my family, but, yeah. uh, yeah. you know, um, I ain't never had nobody where my mom was like, I don't know about, yeah, yeah, I'm lying. It was a few. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, my mom, she told me when my uh, son mom cheated on me, like, she she told me, like, yeah, you can cheat on me. I'm like, no, I'm not. Next day, like, you know what? I got cheated on. <laughs> like, she just, like, like, it was certain things, like, nigga taking baths. Like, if you if a girl take a bath at night before they go somewhere, oh, they cheating. They going to see motherfucking that, that good appointment real quick. All right. <laughs> Trying to make sure everything smell good. Hey, right. So, yeah, that was, what, that's what that was. So, shit, when you uh, messing with, with, with a chick or a dude, like, for you, what, what's, a, what's a bad date for a dude to take you out, take you on? Like, what's a bad place to go on a date? I'm pretty adventurous. Ain't no bad place to go. Yeah. Like, I, I'm the type of person I can have fun anywhere, so. Mm-hmm. Ain't no bad day. I think a bad first day, like, to the movies, though. I think that it, after you got high school, like, a movie's a bad first day because you ain't getting to know that person. Like, you just yeah, in the dark. True. You got to be quiet. Like, what's a, what's, a, what's, a, what's, a, what's a place you think, what's, what's, a, what's a place you would take a girl to on the first date, uh, Lance? Um, like, to get to know somebody on a budget. Usually, I just pick them up. We sit in the car and drink a pint of Hennessy. <laughs> you know what? Like, yeah, uh, yeah four for four real quick. But you know, man, I always go out to eat. Like, yeah. women love to eat, so shit. You sit there eating, talking shit. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do you gotta go to a certain restaurant? Because I see some chick clowning somebody, like, talking about going, like, to Applebee's or some shit like that. Like, yeah, man, you can go to you Applebee's. You gotta go to Benny Holland, even though that shit nasty. I think many house niggas go there just because of the name and because they hear it rap yeah, songs. Right, so exactly. I I think it's something on every menu for somebody. So <laughs> it ain't no, you know, yeah. ain't no specific restaurant. They all come from the same place. Yeah, they I'll, probably get their chicken from the same ch- yeah, yeah. chicken place. You know, like, <laughs> on the first date, though, I do try to go to like a decent restaurant. Like What's decent? Um... Some, somewhere I don't know Somewhere we could dine in Or some shit Like Okay Like I like I, I really don't try to take no woman Like Chili's on the first date I'm not saying I got a problem with it Like shit mm-hmm. If she wanna go Shit let's go Shit Right I think it was one of me I, No that was our first date We went to Red Lobster Okay and That shit was good I love Red Lobster though, shit. And that shit kinda expensive That's, that's, that's splurging for me I'm splurging We go Red Lobster nigga Nigga be going to Black Rock And fucking all that What's that other shit uh, 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 All that expensive shit I ain't never been to man Cause I ain't about to be saying Yeah 
I would say you spend all this money and at the, the end of the day it. you still don't end up doing what you want to do with and that person. You set the bar too high. <laughs> Being real. Okay, because I, I know people out. that it took me to three hundred dollar restaurants. And I, hey, we cool. Yeah. At the end of the day, so well, but like he said, yeah, yeah. be I call well. Like, God damn it. <laughs> he take me home now. Man. And then I done been to hell McDonald's with somebody and that's <laughs> my nigga to this day, you know? Man. So got that what, what you, yeah, cause Lance had good ass me down verse on the song. We say you Smash for uh, Big Mac or something. What do you say that verse you talk about? Mm, I don't remember. This that. nigga, dog. You said it's a real story. Like, nigga, you talking about the sandwich or some shit. Talking about take this, whatever. So, oh, I remember something like I got a girl off me raw, so all she wanted is a McDouble at Max. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we had, we had something called Thick Chicken East Side. I'm over it. So, uh, we, we, we gonna still stay on, 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 on course, dog. Getting hold. Talking to a chicken. You hoeing a dude. Like, like how you know? Like damn, I just got. Like, what's the worst thing a girl said to you? Like trying to talk to her though. Like damn, she really hurt my feelings. Like fuck. Um, I can't even lie. Like I ain't had many situations like that because I only go for chicks who like me. So <laughs> for real. Um, so you never got hold. I know you ain't hold some people, fair. Yeah, I do that. I, I got hold before. That's yeah. regular for women. Oh, you got hold. Gotta do it. Yeah. Oh man. I mean, you got people that like their preferences or whatnot. No, like I was that, saying so. like. No, I'm saying like you hold somebody. Oh, I hold people all the time. I'm saying, but oh, I've but been hold before. Okay, okay. I'm saying, you yeah. know. Yeah. But then you, you that shit got hurt when you in front of people like, yo, I'm like, go holler at old girl, like, the fuck away from me, like, I'm good. <laughs> but I remember like one time back in my little talking days and shit, I was uh my homeboy was like, man, put me on old girl. I'm like, all right. So then I'm like, hey man, my, my boy want to talk to you. And she's like, oh, I want to talk to him. I want to talk to you. All right, bet. Let me get your number and shit. Then so then I go back to Reg and shit. <laughs> like, uh, like, yeah. What happened? Oh, she said she wanted my number. Like, damn. Right. <laughs> that shit happened to my nigga Will and shit. He was mad at Weezy and shit because Weezy got the girl he wanted. Like, that's when I learned. Like, nigga, you better go talk yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck around. Yeah. Your boy come back with the number. Like, hey, got that shit, cuz. Oh, yeah. Man. What's a uh? Now I know I ain't both of y'all ain't got no kids or whatever, dog. Do y'all plan on having kids? Nope. Like, do y'all ever think about kids? Like, what? Don't you? Nope. Don't you feel like yo? Cause I'm down here with three people who don't have kids and shit. Like, like to continue the legacy, like the fan legacy, the motherfucking Lance legacy. Like, that's a book. I definitely want kids. Shit, I feel like I'm overdue. I'm an old ass man. Now, <laughs> dog. Like, hope my shit still work, man. I ain't got no damn kids yet. <laughs> but what's man, the, what's the age like? If you be like, shit, at this point, like, nigga, all right, I'm, I'm good. I just got a lot of nephews and little cousins. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know, because I, I go, I'm i trying to go for something now. Shit. I'll, probably be, <laughs> I'll be, probably be 50 still trying to shoot up a club and have some kids. Yeah, because then like, if you get you a little young chick or whatever, like, then you can do that shit. Right. Y'all can't be both 50 and shit. Her, and she goddamn have a baby. And it, you come. I don't know. It's a lot of, you know, of us out here having kids at 50. Man, Man that'd be wild. Well, so, like, what I don't want to do is, like, Get with somebody now, had kids like I hardly know this chick. And like, yeah. Right. oh yeah, yeah, for oh, yeah. sure. Shit won't even work. Then next month, my ass be on child support. <laughs> like, my own check and shit. like low key, I'm kind of happy I had uh, my son early, dog. Cause it's, it's gonna be, it's kind of cool to be like when my son graduated high school, I'll be 38. All right, yeah, shit, go to the graduation. That boy still still being a little right, young. You play basketball yeah. and shit. Dog. A young whippersnapper and young like that. Yo, dad, young. young but nowadays, everybody parents, you know, like when I met this. uh the one girl on my basketball team said her mom was goddamn what like twenty nine. She fourteen. I'm like goddamn. Oh, yeah. oh I, I done seen that before. That shit. <laughs> right. I'm thinking I'm young because I had my son in nineteen twenty. Like you, mm-hmm. you ain't got now pregnant. They have the kids at thirteen. Mm-hmm. So fair, you don't want a little fair like. Nope, never want a kid. Little fair come around. Shit. Na- what was it reason or what? You see, I just never want a kid. You know how when you was little and y'all used to play house and yeah. it was a baby doll involved or something. That was never the case with me. It was like, <laughs> all right, we about to go outside and make these mud pies and sell them. You know, like, it Man. was never no kids involved. Dang, what ever. You, that's what's up, though. You got some people just shit. Fuck it, don't want no kids. Like shit. I mean, that's all. That's all good. I think with a man though, you need you gotta have kids to continue your legacy. I got my dad's side family is. Shit, I don't even know who they is. Like, I think some of them stay on south, so I gotta keep that Sterling side up. Oh yeah, you right. Cause like my dad's side of the family, uh, man, it's only like out of all my cousins, it's only like two of them named Hill. Yeah. The rest of us got so, our yeah. mom's last name and shit yeah. like that. So I have our dad shit. Yeah, I already told my son like, nigga, you you better have if you. I ain't say you better have a kid, but if you have a kid, you better name that motherfucker Rashad Sterling, cause 
And when I'm dead, nigga, I want my shit to keep going, my name to keep going, dog. So not, selfish. Not just the Sterling. <laughs> Rashad Sterling. Gonna, so for this nigga. Yeah. Oh, no, he, 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 he already knows. And this girl don't want it to be Rashad uh, Sterling. This, hey, I promise you it's not. You with the wrong person, man. Ain't no <laughs> way you gonna be. <laughs> Pick the wrong I, person. Shit, I tried to name Aiden goddamn Rashad, but shit, Alex wasn't having it. I'm glad Alex ain't go for yeah, that shit. Yeah, I tried shit, to say Rashad. Yeah, cousin who got two kids by him. I mean, by, with his same name. Man, that would be sweet. Sean. No, it's not. Hey, Sean. Y'all stay in the same house. At least they got different moms and, you know, yeah. they don't even know each other type stuff. Really. Man. They don't know. But y'all know. Yeah, but yeah, I just felt like on my dad's side, I had, I had to uh, continue that, man. Like, is this certain my kids you want to have Lance? Man, I'm trying to have a motherfucking... Basketball team? No, I ain't a certain amount. I at least... <laughs> I said at least three, though. Who said two? Three. 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 Yeah, because yeah, I think as soon as I say I do, I'm going to knock her uh, down at night and probably get pregnant. I figured that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Y'all both gonna be sleep as soon as this shit over. Oh no, yeah, you're right, you're right, cause I think I'm gonna be real drunk that night. You definitely are. But yeah, 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 I wanna, uh, I wanna have a, a, a daughter. I got two sons, dog. So I feel like, you know, what I'm saying, uh, with me having a daughter, like even if something happened to me, uh, I had two boys to be able to, uh, you know, what I'm saying, take care of her or whatever, or some little stupid dude try to come messing with her, you know. So I got shot at eight to be able to knock his off. Or whatever. So yeah, definitely. But I got a feeling my damn luck is gonna be another boy, and then I'll be trying to name him Rashad again. Depending on what position you be in, nigga. <laughs> that shit don't work though, dog. Okay, say so you got socks on or something like what? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> like, I, like I'm I, talking shit. Cause no, I, I, I never heard the sock story. Yeah, like, keep keep socks on or like I don't know something about socks. What the socks do, a girl? I don't know. It uh, didn't work because I always keep no, my socks you, on. You got to keep socks on because so you got to change your body temperature. Time, you try that. I guess so. <laughs> that shit probably true, though. It probably change your body temperature. <laughs> it changed the uh, chromosome and your sperm or something to make a I woman, dog. For real. <laughs> I never heard of <laughs> that. Like, uh, I remember when, um, when um, we went in for, uh, you know, of course I wanted my first kid to be uh, a boy. So I, shit, I'd be mad as hell if I had 13-year-old daughter right now. That shit be all bad. But uh, with Aiden, I remember we went to go see the, uh, you know, when they, you know, do the whole gender junk. And then she was like, as soon as she put that ultrasound little thing up, I'm like, damn, I see a penis, dog. What the fuck? <laughs> damn. But it's cool, though. We'll try again. If it's a boy there, I got to wait for a granddaughter. It's all good. So since we talking about the whole knocking down things, I know y'all want to get to y'all crazy shit. Oh, God. So I had a boy on my team. I'm talking to Alex on the phone. We talking about, we just about dinner. I'm like, all right, I'll holler at you when these, uh, when these kids get picked up. So then this little nigga in seventh grade going to talk about some. You about to get some, coach? I'm like, what the fuck? So I cussed him out. I'm like, dog, if I told your mom you said that shit, how would she feel? Like, dog, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm like, nigga, don't ask me no questions like we the same age, bro. Right. Like, you in seventh grade to ask me if I'm about to get some ass. Like, nigga, you crazy. Right. So then, and then I found out one of my kids was smashing a girl on a basketball team in the hallway. Like, they ducked off somewhere. And I'm like, dog, these little yeah, niggas is crazy. Yeah, new generation is wild. So that had me asking the question, when, what age would y'all, when y'all start thinking about sex, and what age would y'all, when y'all like, this got to happen? <laughs> I gotta knock some boots or get my boots knocked. <laughs> I ain't never heard somebody say, I gotta get my boots knocked. <laughs> I, I told as a female, like, you know, she had to get it her boots knocked. It wasn't that I, I just had to have it at, well, 18 was the age for me that I knew for sure that I wasn't having sex until I turned 18. Yeah. Sure. But I was around it my whole life. I grew up with people older than me, so I used to hang out with them inside a club and stuff at 13. So yeah. I seen stuff and just didn't want to, I guess, go the same route that they went, mm -hmm. being young and having sex, you know, mm -hmm. just to do it because they had shit to do. Yeah. So that was my thing behind it. So yeah, yeah. So you was like, so you said you wanted to at least be 18. Yeah, did you like, make it to 18 or it was like? I did. I made okay. it to 18. What about you, what about you, Lance? Like, when would you like? Like, oh, yeah. Now, I remember. Like, when you start thinking about, like. I remember, like, I had, I remember sixth grade. That's, like, when I started to notice, like, chicks had ass and titties. Like, <laughs> no, for real. That's when I started to notice. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. when I started, like, getting horny, like, sitting in class, <laughs> dick on hard and shit, looking at the girls, like, damn, yeah, nigga. <laughs> for real. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> like, that episode of the wood, that movie, The Wood, when he had to put the, uh, the bar in there front of his yeah, right, right. Hell yeah. Yeah. Dog, hell yeah. So, shit. You know, from middle school, that's when I started noticing chicks. Like, <laughs> hell, nah, I you know, some girls be developed more than others. Like, Man, hell girls yeah. develop before we do anyway, so they start definitely. just yeah, they, they you know, get taller before us. Yeah. Like so you looking like, God damn, what happened to uh, Jay Tonya? Like, she got. <laughs> I knew Jay Tonya. She was developed like a mother. <laughs> 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 I actually knew Jay Tonya. <laughs> Jay Tonya Williams, dog. But then she started looking like. Uh, it was J. Tonya Williams. Yeah, right. Hell she started nah. looking bad, like as she got older. Like, God damn, I guess you know. 
Yeah. That's what happened. A chick would be bad as hell in high school. Yeah. <laughs> then when it's over, it'd be fucking sloppy as fuck. Like, they want to... They won't let you holler at nothing. Now she trying to see what's up. Like, <laughs> like yeah, like, oh, you wanted them them 12th grades when I was in 8th grade. Don't, don't y'all talk to me now. <laughs> so what, 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 what the age was you like, dog, I'm going to try to make this happen. Like <laughs> From 6th grade, I was thinking about this shit. Like, you know what? <laughs> no, for real. Yeah, and I was like <laughs> gradually doing shit, but, yeah. you know. So when, when did when did the bang bang happen in my pop's voice? Like, that chain, that ain't happened. Till I was eighteen. Like people be like, "Damn, nigga, yeah. you made that long." But no, or? like like that shit that shit crazy. Like because uh, I think the first time um, I did something was like uh, seventeen, close to eighteen, and uh, it was like dog, like you. I was like, when you go to school, you seeing it, but I wasn't. It was different than like thinking about it, but then like trying to pursue it, like. I, in middle school, I was not ever thinking about trying to smash somebody. Like, shit, you sure nigga in middle school? I was trying to like, like go ahead and push for it. Like, oh no, I'm not that. But I, you, you know, I think about it, chicks, like, like, yeah, like, like, dang, like that's that's crazy. Like, she came back from, <laughs> after some vacation with like that, like that's crazy. Hell but yeah. it's like never like you know you 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 see it. Of course you you know like me and I used to always go through like um like my dad or my uncle's like little porno stash and be like. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Looking at magazines Hell and stuff. Yeah. And looking at, you know, wait for, <laughs> wait for real sex to come on and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all to be looking at Skin of Manson that boy. Show that you to come on that night on BET. Oh, uh, uh, the, the video jump? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, looking BET at, Uncut. Yeah, BET staying uncut. up until 2 o'clock in the morning watching that and jump right. like that, whatever, dog. And, uh, yeah, so like at an early age, I was, but see, back then, I'm looking at my granddad, my, not my granddad, but my uncle, my dad, point out. So, you know, that's old school. Bush Afro, <laughs> <laughs> so you look at that stuff like, like you, you like, damn, I wonder, like, you know, I wonder when I'm gonna finally get some, or whatever, like, but yeah, like all my friends said they were smashing, but then when I got older, I'm like, hold on, y'all couldn't have been smashing, cause we was always together, like we was always hooping, we was always at the mall, like, we was never not around each other. So when did y'all have oh, this right. time? And y'all had no cars. So y'all, y'all, y'all niggas was lying, though. Y'all niggas with they bike, like, we about to hit this backyard. <laughs> right, man. Man. <laughs> man. Yeah, and then like, you had chicks that was, like, I think the last dude was on here said he, first time he smashed a girl, he was like 14 on some concrete. Oh, I, that, I mean, that's the stuff I used to see as a child at 9, 10, 11 years old. Yeah, you know, people in their backyards have the sex. And at the school, hey, y'all, we about to meet at this park. We gonna fuck on the swing type stuff. Man. You know, like, Hell no. so. I think the funniest thing I did, man, you know how you, um, did y'all school, in middle school, had a, y'all had swimming pools? No, nah, not mine. Oh, see, my school, oh, I went yeah. to bus, we had a big swimming pool. So, uh, we'd be in there. And, like, my little horny ass, I'm, like, seventh grade, so I'm trying to make sure I'm, like, close enough to the girl that I can maybe get a fist on the butt. But I'm, like, grabbing the butt. Like, I'm trying to get close enough to the I used to do shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, <laughs> I hit her shit while I'm walking. Like, oh, yeah, like, you swimming in there, like, oh, shit, my bad. Dog, let me tell you, nigga, in shop class, seventh grade, nigga, in wood shop class, nigga. The teacher was showing us something, and this girl had a fat-ass booty, dog. She was always fucking with me and shit. So, you know, he got us all around looking and shit. And, nigga, it's like 8 in the morning. My shit hard as hell. Like, <laughs> I put my dick right on her ass, acting like I'm looking over. Nigga, she put me on blast. Like, if you don't get your thing off of me, loud oh, as hell, dog. God. I just walked off. I didn't know what the fuck she was talking about, dog. <laughs> she about to get me through off of dog. sexual harassment. So you, right. you asking balls. I'm trying to put my fist on you. You're trying yeah. to put your dick on me. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna take it there. Cause, uh, yeah, cause that's when you really like, yeah, cause my school had a swimming pool, so you really start seeing girls like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> you and this mother still got, you know, what I'm saying you little and mother, you little short dude, you see this big old girl like develop like a mother, like God damn, I'm about to go ahead and swim a, a couple laps around, <laughs> try to get make sure I maybe they can get a little touch, and then it started getting stupid because in ninth and tenth grade. Uh, like the desk Like if you were sitting Behind somebody You had that opening Where the butt Come out the little Opening of the seat So I try to make sure I get down See if that knee touch <laughs> God. You know what? Like, do yeah. some stupid shit. This and nigga they, was a dedicated <laughs> pervert, dog. Okay. okay. <laughs> he thought this through. So if my knee touched her butt, she'd be like, oh, shoot, got some knee. So oh. you, you be hyped them up, dog. Like, it yeah, was crazy, God. dog. But yeah, like, like yeah, man. But uh, yeah, the first time, it was late. It was late in the game. Like, it was super late in the game. And then it wasn't, it wasn't consistent until later on and shit. Pop up, boom, got a baby. Hell no. <laughs> it's like, I ain't know what, to, like, did you? I can't even ask y'all, did y'all know, like, shit, y'all about to have a kid? Because I, I had one. Like, I kind of knew I slipped up when I had, had a shot. I, I told my mom, as soon as she left, like, yeah, mom, you about to be a grandma. I heard people say that, that they know. Yeah, like, I knew it. I slipped up. A week later, like, and see, that's me. Yeah, because you need that extra practice, and I ain't had that extra practice, so it's just like, 
I know what oh, pull out game and all that stuff. It was like up, oh, yeah. Oh, got got son on the way, cuz. <laughs> That's just crazy. All right, so uh, I asked other people like, do y'all remember y'all first time? How bad was it? <laughs> Mine was bad. I mean, you you a girl, so it depends on the dude, I guess. It was experimental. <laughs> what that mean? Because he was a virgin too. Okay. So. Mm. What about you, Lance? With your, 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 um, was it bad? I know it's bad. I mean, I ain't, it didn't last long. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was done. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was probably about three minutes and I was done. <laughs> three minutes? Boy, you three went, minutes? You went good. Done. Three she minutes. Went good. That was great. Man. That was a good. Three minutes, boy, you you think you been pop a punt for real. Nigga, I almost came putting well, a goddamn condom on. Nigga, shit. Off a lot, the guy I messed with because <laughs> we went longer than three minutes for sure. True. No, but that don't work though. Cause when you when you whacking off and stuff, you be thinking like, oh yeah, this be a different moment when you you know feel that skin. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different type of skin in your hand. Right. <laughs> Damn, man, you might have been three minutes. I probably just thought it was longer. Yeah, three minutes. That's that was forever for her. That's, right. That's, 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 <laughs> that's a heavyweight bout, boy. <laughs> See, that's a, that's a, what we was watching. Man. I don't remember, but <laughs> well, I mean. Yeah, my first time, I ain't going to explain it to y'all because I just don't feel comfortable. Right. <laughs> but no, no. It wasn't, it sure wasn't no goddamn three minutes. <laughs> Motherfucking three seconds. Like, nigga, just, <laughs> as soon as that mother went out, it was over. Shut up. Yeah, for real. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a wrap, cuz. Hell, nah. It was a, a riz app. So, uh, what's some, what's some shit, like, this, this, this the shit I know y'all probably been waiting on. Like, what's some shit, like, what's the different shit that y'all be doing in, 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 or you won't do? Now, I know we was talking about that stuff and I refuse to eat ass. And I just not, I just can't do it because I'm call me childish all you want to, or call me lame. But if I know boo come out that motherfucker asshole, I can't. I, I, it, ain't, it ain't no wipes, no soap in the world that can get that shit away. I agree with you. I mean, <laughs> at first I was kind of weirded out about it, but it's the feeling yeah. that got me. You know? So it took me by. Yeah. It, it, it swore me in. Yeah. You know? yeah. So I was with it. But yeah. I wouldn't eat nobody ass. I agree with you. Yeah. I was oh, yeah. thinking see, about to. And I don't think a dude should. Ass, I don't think a dude should. Yeah. No, yeah. A dude no, shouldn't. No. Um, a dude shouldn't ask. Like, hey, um, can you please eat my ass? Like, <laughs> no, I ain't never been asked yeah. before. Yeah. Like, yeah. No. yeah, I can't. I, I wouldn't mm-hmm. do that. Like, no, nah, in general. But it is. That's less feeling. I give them that. Yeah. yeah. Like I told ass one time. I got. You know, I thought about eating your ass, but I just can't do it. Yeah, yeah, but uh, okay. Uh, I just uh, <laughs> <laughs> she takes she takes the shower and even still is like. I I would think that's the cleanest ass in the world from what I see because she takes three to six showers. She do take hella showers. Like that's one thing you can ever say she musty. Yeah, any body part though, like if you giving somebody head, if you sucking a nipple or just kissing, like. You ain't gonna yeah. do that shit unless you know that person clean. Yeah, 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 for sure. But you got some nasty niggas out here that just right. don't give a fuck. Yeah, you do got that. I don't know. I don't think it was that big of a deal. If a motherfucker wanna eat an ass, I'm pretty sure you gonna eat an ass you don't clean. Like she just got the shower and clean that motherfucker at least. I still can't, dog. I can't do it, dog. Every time I got my ass ate, it was. Oh, oh man. Sure. Oh, I was about to, you was about to say some wild shit. Right? <laughs> no, I was about to say niggas is foul. It was out the shower. It was. Yeah, okay, dog. so what about like, uh, since we on this, like, like I, I forgot why I heard this. I think I was listening to some podcasts. Like, do what the what the fuck is ass? What I don't know this. What is an ass bead? Please tell me. Explain it to anal me. Anal bead. It's like yeah. anal bead. Yeah. Yeah. What what is that? Like, and how do you use it? And what do you use use so it that's for? The part of the SMS is they would just call it SMS. Mm-hmm. SMS or whatever. <laughs> like so what they do is they um, it's just like. But no, so what you do is just like a vibrator, you know, you know, the vibrators you can stick yeah. in and just leave them. Okay. So it's just like a bee. So I guess you, because of the friction of it, mm. you know, you walking around and stuff supposed to arouse you. Yeah. Just like putting something in the vagina. So yeah. it's no different than That's crazy. You, you, you see that before? Right. And I've seen it before, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> and then when you pull it out is when it's supposed to give you your orgasm. Yeah. Okay. Hell no. Nah. like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw some strippers the other day dancing all night with fucking uh, plugs in their ass. Like, they've been over. All you see is a big ass green fucking emerald or some shit coming out their ass. The and shit. Right, the, uh, Man. Now, what is, uh, it, it, do, do people, or oh, there's some white stuff, like edible panty draws. 
<laughs> like, that's some white shit, like. No. Hell no, nah, my girl got someone, I'm gonna eat the motherfucking yeah, like shit. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Have you ever, like, seen something? Like, seen, have you ever had someone? Have you ever seen somebody with someone? I ain't never seen them. Yeah, no, some no, edible no. draws, like, oh, yeah, I got no. the star bar something. Dang. Like, that's not no different. <laughs> okay, if any of y'all got your dick sucked with a fruit roll up or something like that, it's, like, no different oh, than yeah. that. Okay. I mean. Yeah, that's a little, I don't know, that's crazy, man. Yeah. Another thing, KY Jelly, like, have anybody had to have to use that? <laughs> like, this stuff that I, like, you have to be like, oh, you gotta break the KY. Like, if you gotta break some uh, KY Jelly, it's something going on. It depends on how old the joke you know, <laughs> <laughs> what type of old age group you mess with, because you know. Nah, I didn't have to use some, but not for sex, though, because <laughs> she wanted it in her ass, so she was trying to lube oh, that okay. motherfucker up. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard I have heard I forgot who told me That uh This one girl young Shit her shit just No matter what you do That motherfucker was Desert Storm oh, You know what I'm saying Phoenix Phoenix Arizona That boy like For real Yeah so I guess she that might need, be a fucking Medical condition yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess she needed that little boy, That extra yeah. little stuff Whatever dog steam or something Yeah so Alright so Lance brought it up Like that's another thing uh, Call me childish But I ain't That's, that's something I don't want to do Hit somebody in the booty hole. Like, I mean, it, why I, not though? Like, I'm not talking about. I'm not asking because I don't. I mean, it's just yeah. a preference. But is it because is it like a a, a symbolizing a symbolization of being gay? Or, yeah, yeah. That that, that that's yeah. a whole lot. Cause then I'm thinking about that's that's how that's how dudes get down. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I, I think about that stuff too. Like, damn, dude, he be yeah. fucking somebody in the head. Now, maybe, no, for real. Yeah. Like, you know, why I mean, you like doing this? Especially if you like doing it too much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I say you do it every now and then, the blase they split, but if like, that's your main point. Like, you gotta get the ass literally. Like, yeah. you know, right, that's, that's suspect. When yeah, that's suspect yeah. to me. Like, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah, that's yeah. why you want is the ass? Yeah. Like, nah. Man. Now, we fucking drunk, getting nasty, kinky. Like, oh, we about to do some foul shit tonight, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, did she take a shower before that, too? Uh, I guess, shit, I don't know. Let mm. me think of a certain time. Like, <laughs> I'm I, I myself shit. I like to take a shower first. Like, okay. so if you know, like, you know, it's going down tonight, dude. You gotta be like, oh, let me get a shower real quick. I try to. Like, I try to. I like to be clean. Well, I mean, like you said, sometimes yeah. you drunk and shit. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh yeah, like, quickie just having like, yeah, can't wait. yeah, 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 hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, it is what it is. I know I ain't, I ain't stinking. You right. know what I'm saying? But right. if, if you come from Hoover or something. Yeah, yeah. If you, you know you feel a little foul. Yeah, right. Take your ass in the shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't even let a chick give me hair. Like, if I feel like I've been sweating all day, doing all kinds <laughs> of shit, like. <laughs> that's yeah. just gross. <laughs> that nigga say, fuck that girl. Take it how you take it. <laughs> <laughs> that's gross. Duh. So, all right, there's another thing. Like, is it. Cause niggas be selling niggas be selling dreams and be this that and the third saying all these bullshit stories like what is a uh do you, is it like a certain time you aim for when you when you when you when you have a sex or you be like shit we just gonna try to get it in how we get it in shit I, for me shit I just try to make sure yeah she get down with <laughs> make her make sure she get her shit first then yeah. whatever after that do you ask like did you get yours <laughs> how was it. Nah, <laughs> it at this point, you should know the chick. Yeah, you know, you should know like you know, yeah. certain 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 <laughs> leg movements or something. Right. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then like once you do that, then you be like, oh yeah, I can hurry up and do what I gotta do now. Like, <laughs> motherfucker. Because my thing. All right, so I said my nigga always about some forty five minutes. Because like, you stupid. I'm not trying to smack no skin for no forty five minutes, dog. I mean, I guess it may depend on the person. It I mean, it depends yeah. on the drink too. The drink. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a lot of girls don't like you know going yeah. for a long period. Right, right, right. You got the yeah. ones that can go all night, you know. So it, it depends. On yeah. The person. So yeah, like, I guess that long, man. You gotta include like four play and shit. Like, you know, you no, I mean, if, if she could just, you know, what you could do in ten minutes. Yeah, shit. Four play. You, know, you could do in five, five minutes. Five positions. <laughs> You got some people that don't even need foreplay. Can, they just man. instantly back at it, you know. Oh, no, that's one thing I will say. I believe before you, unless you got kids involved, you trying to hurt me and smash real quick. Right. I believe a little, you know, saying vagina blowing, <laughs> all that stuff gotta be. It got. <laughs> it gotta. It gotta happen before. Okay. It's just like when you play basketball, you gotta stretch before yeah. you go and and go ahead and do some crossover moves, or you gonna get a trolley horse. <laughs> And speaking of I, I, last time me and yeah, I ain't going to fuck it. Yeah, no. <laughs> that, 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 that hurt, dog. When you get Charlie Horse dog, you try to fight through it like, like God, that should be locking up and then nigga, you wind up just falling like that shit funny as hell. Hell no. Nah. What what's some shit that that made you like laugh while y'all was like uh, uh, smacking cake? Uh, 
<laughs> made me laugh. Shit. Made me laugh. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Al's gonna be mad. I got one too. But everybody know that uh, Al's wear uh, that little eye, the eyebrow stuff, whatever. Uh. <laughs> So <laughs> we both laughed because I guess we were so face to face that her shit was on my forehead. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> so I had eyebrow on my fucking forehead. <laughs> oh, y'all was making love. Yeah, y'all was uh, in there. <laughs> so it was like, yeah, that shit was funny, dog. I couldn't stop laughing, dog. Don't tell her I told y'all that. Nah, nigga. <laughs> I me mean, and chick was getting down one time and the TV was on but that shit was on the Chappelle show so nigga, I'm doing my thing but I'm watching the Chappelle show laughing like a motherfucker she got mad at me like you can't believe you watching this <laughs> dog one time I almost I had to hold my fart in oh, I, like recently I had to fart like oh shit I ain't, this gonna mess up everything let me hold this on as soon as it was over I just fart like a motherfucker Man, I done had chicks fart like you thought that was funny like <laughs> laughing about it too like I'm fucking pissed like <laughs> Fucking nasty. Yep. Instantly got uh, instantly got loose me and that boy right. loose me salad. <laughs> right. Uh, uh. What what's the funniest thing that happened with you? Uh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like this, like, y'all just bust uh. out both laugh. Like man, that was some funny shit. Yeah, that was funny because it was like, cause I didn't know it till she said like, she started like, what the hell? Like oh god, fucking whole fucking eyebrow on my motherfucking forehead. Got three eyebrows. <laughs> That shit funny as hell, dog. All right, all right, here goes some shit. I'm about to switch this junk up. I was just wondering, man, because I was uh, I was at the uh, me and Lance was at a function yesterday or whatever for a young lady who's uh, you know what I'm saying she's uh, in a uh, gay relationship or whatever. I don't know how to explain it because you know the gays be bad sometimes. But uh, like, what do you think make a chick turn gay? Because I, I'll be thinking like uh, uh, for the most part, I think girls, some girls is real is really gay, but some girls be fake gay. I be feeling like when they be like get done di- done wrong by a dude, they be thinking like this 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 stuff oh, yeah. about to be different. And I think a lot of millennials like to fucking be gay like it's a trend. Yeah. But. Mm-hmm. And then most of the girls that we know that gay girl be just like them dudes. <laughs> exactly. That's what I don't <laughs> doing. Do the situation. So y'all, what y'all be thinking like be the, be the cause of like somebody who just just out the blue got a whole relationship and it. like it's a little weird when you got like a kid involved and you just make that 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 that, that transformation of being gay or whatever. I know one thing I noticed. Like, um, I ain't saying, like, people, like, I think some people are straight up born gay, like, shit, they just, you know, you like what you like, shit, that's dumb, I don't give a fuck, you, it's your life, live your life, but I think when some women be gay, like, one thing I kind of noticed, like, with a lot of women I've talked to, not all women, just some, it always seemed like a lot of them that went through, like, uh, like, they've been sexually abused Mm -hmm. by a man as a child or something, and it's like, it fuck them up, like, yeah, that shit terrible, dog. I've been told that they just feel that a woman knows their body more. So yeah, that, that. that'd be the reason behind it. Yeah. But the bullshit still be the same, so I don't understand. Like, ain't no way I couldn't have a... If, if, if Shaw Mom wanted to be with a woman, it's not going to happen. <laughs> like, <What? laughs> because I couldn't have my... Or maybe my son just ain't going to be... I don't know. I just couldn't have my... I wouldn't feel, I don't know, dog. Like, it's just weird. I was watching TNT, and then my man, they had this little young boy in there because he did, like, a good deed. And he was like, uh, he bought, he brought both his moms on uh, on, on, on the set. And I'm just like, I don't know, dog. Like, how how would you feel, Lance, if your mom had a relationship with another woman? And y'all, like, would you be embarrassed? I mean, maybe as a kid, but right now, I wouldn't give a fuck. But yeah, that's what I was about to say. As a kid, you know, and that, as, a, as a kid, I can see how that could be embarrassing. Yeah, because, right? yeah. you know, you, kids nowadays, they don't, boy, they ain't, got, ain't no whole bar now. Like, they gonna, they gonna, like, you thought roasting was, like, back when we was young, they gonna get on your head, you gonna be on social media, they gonna Man, tag it's social media now, too, so they gonna be recording and shit. Dog. What about you, man? <laughs> how embarrassed would you be if you, like, I know your dad, Triple OG, ain't gonna happen, but just hypothetically speaking, it was I ain't gonna lie, I thought he would. <laughs> Oh what? my god. Oh, I, it's just certain stuff that people do to me that I, I mean I'm the type of person that I just feel if a guy hang around guys too much, that's just that that rubbed me wrong. Like you constantly always with your niggas, like Man, I wasn't I don't, I don't, I don't, I never see you with you know, at some point in life I need to see you with a bitch for a couple of weeks or that's something true, like that. You know, I'm man. just saying like that's just with anybody. That is just, anybody. You know, I don't think he is, but if he yeah. is, I wouldn't be shocked. It's suspect when somebody <laughs> hangs with the same sex all, all the goddamn the time. time. That irritates me. So if I see, see if it. I'm dating somebody and you just constantly always with your guy, I get turned off. Yeah. Cause I'm like, what is y'all doing? Like yeah, all yeah. the fucking time. Well, how much 
nigga talk is right. like, you know, right. like seriously, like For what sure. the fuck y'all got to talk about? Okay, y'all went out on Saturday. It's yeah. Tuesday. Right. Y'all still talking about Saturday? Like what the fuck? Like, yeah, right, right. That's crazy. Nah, I, 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 I love kicking it with my niggas and drinking and shit, but mm-hmm. after a while, I'm like nigga, yeah. let's go see some like, bitches. No, okay. <laughs> Like, I like, need to smell real? some perfume, bro. Like, I'm tired of sitting next to y'all see, niggas. That's why, for the most part, whenever y'all come through, I call, like, on Saturday, I call chicks and dudes, like, to come over and just right. chill. Exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just don't see how niggas just hang Damn. around niggas all the day. Hot take, time. like a motherfucker. Ever. <laughs> Unless it's some girls. If it's some girls, then okay. You know, yeah. But, mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And then, the funny thing is, that's the first time I ever saw. Oh, well, you know, of course you running on your parents having, you know, saying, doing the nasty when you lose. Oh, shit, mom did. God damn it. Because when we stayed in one bedroom apartment, so of course I got the bedroom, so I got to walk through the living room to go to the, to the bathroom. Damn. And my mom and dad smacking skins, like, oh, shit. God damn. I mean, right. I'm running through. Go <laughs> go pee, come back. They ain't stopping they flow. They just still going at it. That's how you got here. Man, dog. It's crazy because we had, nigga, we were so gutted, like, our, they bedroom nigga at the eleven o'clock. The living room turned to the bedroom. Dog, right. Q no. Right. Got the mattress inside the closet. <laughs> Boom! I remember that episode of uh, Fresh Prince when Carlton like sleeping on the floor. <laughs> Motherfucker bed on the floor. Same shit. Our shit was like yeah, it was dog. gutter, dog. I never forget walking in on my mom. Man, that shit. I mean, it don't hurt you when you see your mom and dad. But you be like, oh hell yeah. But I remember like nigga. Like, dog, when you see, like, if you run in on your mom with, like, her boyfriend, like, you, like, yeah, that, that shit hurt. Like, for a boy, like, you be like, I, I had the privilege of never seeing that <laughs> shit. I got. I wasn't hurt. It was just like, damn, y'all know I'm here. Like, I, could, I was just about to leave. Y'all couldn't wait. He, like, Man. y'all knew I was about to leave. Y'all knew somebody was on the way to pick me up. Y'all just had to get that in right now, then and there. Like, and you couldn't wait. Yeah, when my mom and dad first broke up, like, I didn't see her, like, you know, get down with another dude. But I remember one time I was, uh. I knew it was official that her and my dad, her and my dad was done. I saw my mom in the car with her friend, male friend. They, she kissed him before she got out of the car. I was, I cried my ass off. Oh, nigga, I've been in that position before. <laughs> I was ready to kill that nigga and my mama. Like, Who the fuck is this nigga? Dog, no, I'm like, I'm like, how old am I? I'm out. Uh, matter of fact, why being a good dude, dog? Like his son to his dad, I consider his son my um my stepbrother, whatever, dog. Like, but and but she man, she was at my grandma's house and she was in the car kicking it with him, you know, because I guess she didn't want to make the little introduction with us, you know, saying because she, you know, it'd be like a year since her and my dad, or whatever. So I'm looking like. She ain't kiss this nigga Charles. I was that bitch bullhorn like. You sure his name ain't Donald, nigga? No. But, I mean, I knew her and my dad was gonna get back together, but it's like the fact that you just don't want to see your mom with nobody after your dad. Like, nigga, it's a rap. I don't want to see it with no dude ever. I don't want her to ever be happy. Like, <laughs> like for real, like you like selfish. Dude. Yeah, I was dog. Like, I seen that shit, nigga. I was crying my ass off, dog. Like, but yeah, saying like the whole gay shit, like the the first thing. I seen outside like my parents having sex was I walked in on the aftermath of my uncle and his boyfriend dog. God damn nigga that traumatized me. <laughs> yeah, that would mess me up. Cause like the way it is, our room was upstairs when me and my mom little my grandma we was in upstairs. It's like the attic like broke down through the <laughs> So you gotta walk through their bedroom to go to the bathroom. So nigga I walked through like what the f oh cuz these niggas that boys super oh, naked. Was you? Uh like eleven or twelve. Eleven. Yeah. So then I'm looking like this, God damn it! So I went to go take my shower. I called my mom like, dog. It was uh, uncle, 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 and Junior and, and, and uh, Tony Blunt was in this boy, butt booty naked, just got done doing the nasty and junk, dog. God damn. So that's what she had to call like, can y'all please, you know, you know, shower guy come down there, you know, say make sure y'all wrapped up or whatever <laughs> <laughs> under some covers and junk, dog. That shit hurt me, dog. Like I was mad as hell, dog. Like as a little kid, you don't want to see that shit. Your exactly. first little. They they must have just got down too, boy, because they was <laughs> the room was smelling like ass, huh? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Straight booty cheeks, like <laughs> dog. That shit hurt, dog. That shit hurt. <laughs> so yeah, that shit terrible, dog. Like like, but y'all like, can y'all can you be um Lance? Like say uh, and then Cordero like Lance. We've been friends for a long time. I'm gay. <laughs> can you still be like? Can you still be your homie? Y'all, y'all Man, been for sure, cause that's my nigga. But I ain't about to be like, dog. I support you. Like, I go to the gay club with you for your birthday. Like, yeah. hell no, nigga. Would, would you go to his wedding? Yeah, I go to his <laughs> wedding. But well, what if he asked you for advice? Like, you know, me and Billy, we really go. <laughs> <laughs> me and Billy going through some shit right now, Lance. And 
Can you give me some advice? <laughs> that is not my expertise, my nigga. <laughs> now, I know, I know, fam. You could be cool with a gay chick. Like it's a different. Yeah, it's yeah, different. It's different. Like me, like if 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 Shaw, like, I asked for Shaw one time. I talked about this on the podcast. Like I just want to be real. Like, cause have you? Like I know you say you like you know you like girls and you talk to girls like but you you, you think anything different though like let me know right now please like man nigga you crazy hell no like basically you want to say hell no he should have said it shit yeah, yeah, but I just want to know like dog you gotta make sure like dog if if he think about it, I want him, like dog come to me dog like you know what I'm saying I don't want you to hide that shit then twenty years old give me a heart attack saying nigga I'm about to bring Bruce over for Thanksgiving like <laughs> <laughs> right. that shit gonna hurt me dog like thank God that shot ain't. Ain't no fruit for real. And I'm hoping... <laughs> and look like Aiden ain't gonna be one because all his little girls he like in, in daycare. So I'm thankful mm -hmm. for that, dog. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. So let me ask y'all this. Like, a threesome. I think y'all was talking about this whatever when I was in the bathroom. I believe I could not have... I would not... I, I, don't, I wouldn't partake in, into it. I don't think it could be a success, a success if you bring your girlfriend... And another girl into the situation. Only thing, I, only time I think it's straight is like if you got like two random girls and you're not in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Because I, I'm gonna be worried when I'm at work and I do a little overtime. You and Sherry gonna be sharing some shit like together without me. Like, so I couldn't, I couldn't do that. What about you, Lance? Like, you, 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 you and your wife. Like, could y'all have another chick come in? Like, because um, I think T Pain say like him and his wife do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like, but shit. she got picked the girl. I don't know because I ain't never been in that situation, but I could, I would think that I I wouldn't really have a problem with it. Like, even if I am at work, like if her and Sherry want to get down, get down, and I ain't there, like uh, bumping clicks, like yeah, that's cool <laughs> shit. Just you, you just gotta for sure trust each other, like. And I, I think it's gay when a dude and another dude run the train on the little chick or whatever. Man, I'm not being naked in the same room yeah. with another nigga, dog. Yeah, like, flat out. Y'all and that boy high-fiving, huh? huh? Like, <laughs> no, I'm good, dog. Looking at each other in the eyes. Like, Cat Delta. <laughs> yeah. Like, you switch front back. Right. Like, no, dog, I'm good. What about what about you, fam? Like, you, you and your husband do that, bring another girl to oh, the oh, thing? Nope, I don't do nope. Yeah, because I just started thinking, like, it just, it, 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 it would become too much or whatever. Yeah, too many emotions and... People, I hear people tell me their stories about threesomes, and it just never turned out right. So. Yeah, yeah, I can. I wouldn't want to yeah. do that, dog. I'm good, dog. All right, what's well, so, I'm, I'm gonna take it back on some throwback stuff. Would y'all gonna uh, cause, dog, Sean asked me a crazy question the other day. He said, back in the day before we had streaming services, how did y'all listen to new music without buying the CD? And I'm like, damn, it's a good ass question. How? But then that's when I start thinking, like, that's when they had actual mixtapes, like, uh, like songs on the album that yeah. that was hot or like. You would be like uh, the hottest songs they put on the on the mixtape, or like if it was like a, a diss song, you had to go and like find that diss song, like right, right. like that shit crazy, like how that shit is. Like he asked me a question, I had to actually think about it. Like yeah, everything was through the streets, like everything was yeah. like you know. Right before the uh, you know the streaming services, it was a illegal download. Yeah, shit. Line wire. Yeah. Finding shit. Yeah. Nigga, you, your whole computer get burnt out real right. quick off that shit. <laughs> but then oh. before that, you know. You know, artists used to. You didn't have to buy the whole CD. You could buy like just a single, single for like four dollars right. and shit exactly, like that. Exactly. Yeah, you had an edit version, the radio version, the <laughs> instrumental. The instrumental. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. shit! They need to bring that back, nigga. Yeah, because he was on SoundCloud, like, because that's why it's so easy for dudes to make music like whack or good. You can just put whatever you want out. And he had me. I'm like, well, damn. I'm like, what you mean? How I listen to new songs? But now I start thinking, like, damn. How? Yeah, you had to really buy an album, though, like to hear the whole thing, yeah. like the whole thing, or. You just, like, it was so many. That's why I think, like, right now I'm going back and listening to stuff that I never even knew about because, shit, I wasn't buying no albums back then. Right. I was listening to whatever my mom and dad played. That was, like, always, like, some old singing shit or, like, Man. some old school Temptations right. or some Isley Brothers or The Whispers. and Hell, yeah. <laughs> Sade, like, I was listening. To, I didn't listen to rap until, like, for real rap until I was, like, uh, 14, 15. That was the same way. Like, I was listening to Tevin Campbell. Can we talk? Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> I just like I recently just listened to like two short first albums. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like I the, listened to total first album. I just be selecting people. Like, no, let me see what their album was. No, about. I did that the other day, though. Like, I listened to a random Red Man album. Like, met the man. Like, I just didn't know about like these people. Like, that's when people like two years ask me and stuff. I'm like, dog, I'm I'm young, I'm young compared to you, so I wasn't like I was going off what my mom was listening to. Like nigga, that's that was it, dog. What was the first CD y'all bought with y'all own money? Uh, me, I bought uh Silk the Shocker, Made Man. <laughs> I remember that CD. <laughs> it was a Leah for me, I think. Yeah, my, my the first CD I bought was uh was uh Lil Wayne uh, uh Lights Out. 
Cause that's that's my first little thing was with Cash Money. Cause my brother, my stepbrother, was listening to Cash Money. I'm like, damn, these niggas sweet. And they album covers cold. Fire, nigga. Yeah, they were sweet. Hell yeah, man, if, if, nigga, you crazy, nigga. Don't ever disrespect Cash Money. Nobody ever disrespect them, dog. Even though Lil Wayne look crazy, this nigga need to get a taper or a boy or something. This nigga got two dreads in his head, dog. I'm like, man, that nigga look terrible, dog. Wear pajama shirts, dog. Lil Wayne look terrible. This man, he nigga look terrible, dog. That nigga, what, 38? Look like he about 58, dog. I'm looking like, man, I should love Lil Wayne, dog. The chicks used to crush on Wayne. Now he's like, dog, nigga, dreads then fell off. This nigga. I ain't never crushed on Wayne, but. Man, girls, you love Lil Wayne, man. He was cold. Yeah. He was. And it, I mean, he's still, still cold. Is cold. Yeah, he is. Uh, I give him his props. Lil Wayne, my top three rapper, uh, like, um, yeah, uh, I meet for me. But it's like, nah, it's like, man, he just rapping, like. And ain't like no type of like that's why he he can't be like barely like uh, like a Jay Z or something like that because he don't have like no no type of topic on uh, whatever when he come out with a with a song it's just straight flow right yeah. straight bars like nigga just rapping dog <coughs> who y'all who y'all favorite singer ever uh, nigga people talk about singing like niggas everybody talk about rappers like who y'all who your your favorite you can go male and oh I personally. I think Whitney Houston got like the best voice Whitney ever yeah. but she not my voice favorite ever. like. Yeah, I, I think my, my favorite. favorite just became Anita Baker. Yeah, and the yeah. crazy thing is, I used to hate her fucking music when I was a kid. Like, <laughs> what? I used to hate Anita Baker music. Like, I didn't want to hear none of that shit. Nah, I just love it, dog. I just yeah. be listening to the greatest hits. Let that shit play, nigga. Yeah, yeah. My favorite. Call uh, it a rapture, nigga. Dog, hell yeah. <laughs> my favorite uh, R&B chick is, uh, is uh, Anita Baker slash Sade. Sade good. So she was cold and she I, looked good. Like, I used to hate her music too, but now I love it. Dog, you be like, Share is the day. Like, <laughs> like, like got some shit. And, and then who, 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 who the dudes for you? Um, don't be mad at me, but R. Kelly is that nigga. I was about to say R. Kelly too. Duh. R. Kelly, <laughs> yeah, R. Kelly. Was R. Kelly that is that nigga. He's still that nigga, so it's like, despite his little situation. Man, but then you go back and listen to the songs. He was just like telling on the song. He like, was, hell yeah, he was. But he never lied. Yeah. <laughs> people want to make it seem like he's been lying all dog. this time. He never lied and said he didn't do anything. A lot of this you know, sounds creepy too, dog. Was yes. able to get around it. Man, yeah, R. Kelly, he like the only person for us, our generation, like that's like a classic dude. Yeah. Like that you can go back, like damn, he had a, a fucking good ass like album. Yeah, like, yeah. but then like, cause like R. B. Now like. And this niggas trying to rap, man. Yeah, that right. shit trap R and B. Yeah, like it yeah. it's yeah. never the, the the sweet person I think in R and B right now. Is like always been my favorite. Like is like uh, Chris Brown. I think I he the coldest. Chris Brown. I ain't Chris Brown cold. Like, like if it wasn't that nigga. man, that nigga I cold. Chris Brown. Uh, Chris Brown and uh, Chris Brown could drop a CD every single day. I like Chris Music Soul Child too though. I love oh music. yeah, I forgot yeah. about music. Yeah, yeah. Music is my dog. Yeah, Music Soul Child. I don't think I got like no favorite. I'm a Neo person too. Yeah, Neo first three albums classics. Yeah, yeah. He sweet damn mud dog. But then another thing, I know, but switch it like which I was talking about, like as far as social media and stuff like that. Y'all remember uh, AOL Messenger, mm-hmm. like, and you'd be like, "What that ASL A says location?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told a nigga Lance, I remember I had sent this girl a picture of a uh, NBA player he w- that didn't nobody really know and jump. Uh-huh. I'm like 13, this girl like 19, go to Wayne State. So oh that's you? I'm like, yeah, that's me. I'm Quentin Richardson. Like <laughs> I said that picture and shit. And I remember dog, we uh posted meta with her and stuff, but I don't know what happened. I mean, but then I'm thinking like if I did meet her with her, I'm thirteen, what she gonna look at me like I'm stupid. Dog. <laughs> I used to be in the chat room trying to talk nasty to me. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about anybody with a cyber spelling that shit with an S, nigga. Like, dumb as hell. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, niggas be li- I mean, my uncle Tony be mad as hell. We had to, because that's when you had to, um, if you was on the internet, the phone line, nobody couldn't call. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that nigga be trying to call all day, nigga. Me, and, me, little Tony, and Mark on that boy talking to every girl in Detroit on that boy. Like, and you go in there, I'm like, damn, the, hot, the chat line got 100 people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. boy. Hey, he says location. <laughs> <laughs> she be like, 17. Be like, oh, yeah. You 12 like a motherfucker, dog. Yeah, right. yeah, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That shit funny because then like, you had that. Then after that junk, because then at that junk graduated, you had, uh, what was what was the uh, crush spot? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah Black yeah, Planet. Shit. I miss the walkie talkies. What's that? When you could, uh, Turn on the channel and connect with somebody that was nearby. For real, oh, yeah. no, we never got to that job. Yeah, we used to have walkie-talkies and somebody that was like two miles away or whatnot, you can pick up the heat. Yeah, they say no yeah. yeah. My mom give me some cheap-ass walkie-talkies, so we had to be in the crib talking to each other like, hey, Matt, what you doing, cuz? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, nigga, watch it, you know. And you gonna play a game? Yeah, all right, bet. That, that shit crazy. Then you had, like, MySpace. 
And then all that jump. But then it, that shit just graduated like a mud. Like, I just be thinking, like, damn, can, can kids function like how we function? Like, we had a fucking imagination out this world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you had to go outside. Well, we like actually you. had to interact and talk to each other in person. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was like, thinking. Not, like, said even, about the CDs because you had to pull up on people to yeah. find out where they were. Right. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, you get the burnt CDs, though. And my, my CD man used to come and sit six CDs for $25. Mm hmm. Be that boy get. Hell yeah. Niggas used to make fucking mixtapes and shit. Yeah. Hot tracks and Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, like, even now, like, if you notice, like, dog, when last time. Like, do you, like you, you probably text people way more than you pick up the phone and talk to them. I don't like talking on the phone. I love yeah, talking I like on the phone. Text. I don't no more. Man, I'm a, I'm a talk like a motherfucker. Like, I hate texting. Like, oh, fuck Especially yeah. if I got to ask somebody something. I don't like to put them on the spot. So I, I text I think it, that's what it and is. I give you some time to think yeah. about but it. But then, like, you could take a text message the wrong way. Like, oh, that's the, you that's, yelling at me? Oh, that's, that's why the you can't argue over text. Like, you shouldn't argue through text. Even when you don't argue, it's just like certain stuff somebody will say. You will be like, Man, take it the wrong way. I was a show sent paragraph like, I got a response to all this like <laughs> okay that's or, I call, or I'll call like what the fuck you talking about <laughs> <laughs> like I can't text back man I can't do that shit I remember we, we had that Nokia that's when you had to have phones and you had to wait till like 9 o'clock to talk right or like people had spread I think they had to wait till 7 yeah, yeah. yeah see I had to wait till 9 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or then like you had to get the minute phone you know, like right. hey man I can't talk bye mm. nigga call me or not like, that should be. <laughs> Ask people how many minutes they got. Nigga, I, I, my mama. Nigga, I remember, <laughs> no, I remember my, my uh, Malcolm, this fool, was going ham on the phone, dog. My mom got a bill for like $600. This nigga, that God, boy, damn. talking a whole vacation away, a whole Shut Christmas up. vacation. Like, because you can wait between 9 and 7. This nigga, that boy, 2 o'clock, love you. Hey, right. Malcolm was the ultimate caker, dog. Like, that nigga that cake was in. That was during the times that I did talk on the phone. I guess I just, like, Man. I remember because I'm I got mad tell Rashad to my Yeah, she want me to be on the phone. She sleep. Nigga, hang the phone up, cuz. Don't yeah, do that. We definitely slept on the phone. Yeah, you be able to like, Hello? 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wake up in the morning, y'all still holding the phone. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Man, I could man, my mom cussed me out like nigga, I've been trying to call you for four hours, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the bus, I missed the bus, I'm trying to tell you, yo. <laughs> meet me down the street, like you listen to me motherfuckers, like, yeah, I'm being the uh, bus gonna drop me off at two o'clock. Meet me right here, cuz. Hell no. Nah. Some good days, nigga. Y'all, man, damn shit fucked up, it man. It is. It God is. damn, we had fun. Yes, today will never know. All right, man. We do this shit. Man, I ain't tell y'all what we do, but we do this shit. Called Top 3, man. You got to do your top three, whatever the hell I say. So your top three childhood crushes. Like celebrities? Yeah. Is anybody? Yeah. Oh, celebrities. Oh, it could be Tyrone. We had, we had <laughs> celebrity crushes as a child, not a grown person. Um. I, I had like the wackest yeah, list, child. man. And why y'all think I said mine again? My shit was whack. My shit, Raven Simone. I was little. She was nice on Cosby. I loved her on Cosby because yeah, like Raven. I liked the uh, uh, Michelle off of Full House. Michelle my, off of Full the, House. Mm. Yeah, the, the baby nigga. <laughs> We're the same age, bro. <laughs> I did not know that. Oh, <laughs> she got older on the show. <laughs> she was like eight. Nigga. I said it as a kid, and then uh. <laughs> the baby, I mean, boy, you know, R. Kelly style. All right. And then uh, it was just one girl who was on Full House. She was the friend. She older now. She was in that movie when she had got the AIDS uh, on that Ty Perry movie, and when she messed around my man on the airplane. Oh yeah. I forgot, I but she was a little kid. Mm -hmm. And then oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. as I got older, my uh, my crushes was like Neil Long, Jay Pickett, and um, and Ashanti. That was like my getting in high school ages. So Man, one for me was uh. No, I said three, cuz. All right, well I said one <laughs> for me, motherfucker. Um, the lady from fucking um, married with children, dog. Dog, you a second person said that shit. Dog. My, my dog really? Cheese said that shit. Peggy. I used to like her, dog. Yes. Your mom? Yes. Dog. And she was a freak too. I was trying to get it in, nigga. Al always turned out that motherfucker coochie, dog. Hell yeah. yeah. She Al must have been trash. <laughs> <laughs> she had that dream. Um, never heard that. I used to think uh, Felicia Rashad was so fucking. Oh yeah, yeah. she's the finest TV mom ever. Like, dog, I used to look at her. Like, like, was, yeah, she and she still look good. Hell to yeah. the day she like 60, 70, like she still look nice. And then, yeah. Cosby old nappy head. I used to be in love with Aaliyah. I used to like be trying to add up the math. Like when I'm legally old enough, like when I'm 16, she'd be 22. Aaliyah it's legal. Duh. Nigga, when she died, nigga, I ain't go to school the next day. I was crushed. Yeah, nigga, I, was like, I, was, I, was, I was a crush, dog. I was, I was crushed. It hurt because she was from Detroit. That's now. the only person I ever like cried for. I cried yeah. last week when Kobe died. I ain't gonna lie. 
Yeah, I, cried. I just felt bad. Like he was like my my childhood star hero and John. Like yeah, I shed a tear for Kobe. Man, I, I shed did. a couple of them. Man, that that didn't like, touch me at people all. hit me up on, on, on like you okay? Like he was my brother. Like that's how I knew I was a Kobe fan for real. Mm-hmm. Who who's the dudes you like? Uh, fan? Well, I like like Stefan when Urkel turns into <laughs> Stefan. Uh, <laughs> everybody like <laughs> like he was really a different person. Everybody was like uh, the guy that what was um. Uh, uh, what's that? Theo's friend, the little light oh. skinned one. He was cute. Who else? Keep sweat. No. <laughs> I remember my mom's little Alvy Short. Though. I like Montel Jordan. Montel Jordan, yeah, hell, dog. He was Montel only like Jordan. six eight, uh, singer too. Like, yeah, I was in love with Montel. I'm still in love with Montel Jordan to this day. But all right, give me y'all, uh, y'all top three, uh, top three movies. Friday. Mm-hmm. That's my number one. Um, paid in full. I love paying full. And the notebook. That's is that that one jump when uh yeah that jump was a little emotional. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> is that when uh it was, oh she was telling her daughter I guess a story. They've been through so much and yeah. their parents didn't want oh. them together. That was that boy bull horn like. Ooh. I love that Crying movie. Crying, my shit uh I I, just, I don't know Lance Ray but it's Shawshank Redemption, uh Minister Society. And it's like a split between Malcolm X and the Bronx Tales. Okay. Yeah. Um, for me, Bad Boys Two. <laughs> that yeah. shit is hilarious. Yeah. It's full silly. Um, Coming to America. Oh, oh that yeah. is my, my ultimate favorite. favorite. Why did I forget about that? Man, what's that? Another one I always watch. Oh shit! I don't even know. Baby boy. Hell nah, nigga. <laughs> that was a good movie, but... I love that shit, boy. That was like a go-to movie, though. Oh, when you ain't got cable, you got DVDs, you watch Big Boy every day and shit. What's your, all right, what's, what's your top three uh, TV shows? I know you're going to say uh, Family Marriage. You've been watching that since... Who? <laughs> family Marriage for Lance. Oh, yeah, yeah top three matters. all the time. Family, family Matters up there for sure. Um, mm-hmm. Damn, shit, I don't know, dog. It's like been so long since this nigga been watching. And we doing old school or just anything? Anything. anything. Last is for sure uh, Snowfall. Yes, that's the shit. Love uh, it. I like The Shot. Yeah, that's I love that show. Yeah, um, Martin. Yeah, mine's Martin. Yeah, Fresh. I, I watch Martin all day. Yeah, Martin, Fresh Prince, and... <clears throat> Fresh Prince. Can, I count, can I count shit like... Shit like uh, Breaking Bad. Yeah, yeah, like The Wire. Wire. Yeah. Like, them was two of my favorites right there, too. I never got into neither one, though. I it got to wire super well, late, man. super late. But I still got to Breaking watch it. Bad was great. Really like nowadays, it's like it's it's Snowfall, it's um Atlanta, and I I get into it like that. probably a shy. Nah, I ain't never watched that Atlanta shit. Which, I like Shameless too. That's I ain't shit. getting on that either. Oh yeah, I forgot about Shameless. Yeah, I never got to that. Tui talking about cousin. that. <laughs> What's your uh top three um top three rappers? Mine's Tupac, Nas, Lil Wayne. Yep. <laughs> Jay-Z, <laughs> Biggie, mm. and me, nigga Lambo. <laughs> <laughs> Top three Detroit rappers. Um, Mine's is Big Sean, Big Hurt, and KDZ. For me, I'm going to go with, uh, damn, I forgot the nigga name, but I like him. He's sweet, fat nigga. With the oh, beard, uh, uh, Oba. Yeah, that nigga is cold. Yeah, Oba. Ro- I, I mean, Obi Rollin. Yeah, yeah, I'm at, yeah. He cold. I like him though. He's yeah, nice. He's nice. Payroll. Payroll is. I like payroll. And uh, who's my uh shit? Royce, nigga, I can have. Oh yeah, Royce. Royce. Damn. Yeah, I like Royce. Damn, I might have to. Yeah, Royce. Yeah. I, I used might. to mess with Icewood. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Royce. Damn. And I like Big Sean. I'm about to put. I probably have to put Royce over. Who I say bigger. Uh, probably with KDZ Cause Big Hurt like KDZ. It was cold just though Big Hurt was cold Man that nigga used to say Some off the wall shit That nigga was cold Hell yeah But KDZ had like The hottest Detroit song Like nigga that That uh I don't even remember his song. That uh In my hood Yeah in my hood Like everybody go crazy When that mother come mm-hmm. on dog We're back Count my dope money Count my nigga oh, Man that shit was hard <laughs> That city was like My favorite city I mean I went to Chantanese And bought that boy For $20 mm-hmm. <laughs> Blasting that junk Like didn't know what the hell, uh, what is it, what that nigga say? Uh, come off the freeway with SN9, didn't know nothing about the West Side. Like, SN9, whatever. Right. I don't know shit about no West Side. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, what about, uh, top three singers? Did we Male, do female. That nope. <laughs> we did. He just said he liked Chris Brown. Uh, 
Uh, male singers? Male or, male or female. female. All right, well, my top three is fucking Anita Baker, Stevie Wonder, and uh, Whitney Houston. All right. Uh, Whitney Houston. I like Aaliyah and Chris Brown. All right, I don't know. If, I don't know if you got a top three in this one, a uh, fan. But if you do, you shit, you can you can say it. Top three hoopers. I always ask people this. Oh shit! Um, <laughs> I thought I thought you was waiting for her. My bad. No, I'm thinking. Of course, Jordan, Shaq, and Steph. Like they the yeah. most like just yeah. unique to me. Yeah, they is though, cause ain't nobody ever been Shaq dominate like a motherfucker. No, it's big never head. been somebody like Shaq. Yeah, yeah. I like uh, just because of, I, I don't know, they was just entertaining. Jordan, of course, he was a hoop, but uh, Allen Iverson was entertaining. Oh yeah, yeah. everybody love Allen and, Iverson. And uh, Steph. Yeah, Allen Iverson had the he one made people get braids, made people get yeah, tattoos. He, he was definitely he, he, he nigga changed again. Yeah, yeah. Mine yeah. is uh, is uh, Jordan, Kobe, and Isaiah Thomas. All right, now, this this is I tell my Kobe, Kobe, my favorite player ever. I cry. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dog, Kobe. Like that, Kobe. I cry about Isaiah, dog. All right, this is what we in everything off of, dog. I should have told y'all so y'all could have marinated and got that junk thought process going. But uh, you gotta come up with a high moment or a drunk moment, like a funny experience that you went through in one of those situations. It could be both, or it could be one of them. High moment or a drunk moment. All right, I got I got good drunk moment for you. So I'm hanging with this chick or whatever. I got my little cousins driving me around and shit. So we hang with this chick, her home girl, drunk as fuck. We hanging out till fucking six in the morning. I'm done. So I'm in a back seat, back seat sleep and shit. These niggas up front driving. Um, next thing I know, nigga, I feel I I hit I feel a big ass bang like a nigga just hit me in the head with a bat. <laughs> This nigga fell asleep driving and hit a goddamn wood pole on Seven Mile. <laughs> then the car like somehow went across the street into a, a car wash and like popped over one of them uh, parking blocks or whatever. Yeah. So we couldn't move that bitch. <laughs> and they the shit all smoky and shit. We stand there like trying to figure out what we gonna do and we start hearing <laughs> sirens. Nigga, I'm drunk. Like yeah. I, I promise you, we didn't stop drinking at six in the morning. It was seven. I'm drunk. Sirens coming. This nigga like I gotta go, nigga. <laughs> This nigga hops the wall. My cousin, my other cousin hopped the wall with him. I'm so goddamn drunk, nigga. I'm like, I'm not about to hop this goddamn wall, nigga. I put my hand in my pocket and start walking off whistling like, <laughs> like nothing happened, nigga. <laughs> but, nigga, they, I, I, we got out of there just in time. And we came back, though. Police is all around trying to figure out, you know, what happened. And we like, oh, we know this car. Like, what happened? <laughs> Yeah. Still no, and I was mad at my cousin who was riding shotguns. So I'm like, nigga, how the fuck you gonna go to sleep? Dad <laughs> go to sleep, dog. Dog. No. That's funny as hell, dog. You got one fan. The only thing I can think of that was funny when I peed on myself. <laughs> we was walking out the club, man, and I had to use the bathroom, and they wouldn't let us back in. And we was in Ferndale, and the police was riding up around and stuff. Not too many black people out there, so they riding around. And so this guy, he, I was about to go somewhere on the side of a car and use the bathroom. Yeah. He was like, don't do it. The police riding around and whatnot. I don't know. This random nigga, he just could tell in my face that I just was about to do something stupid. <laughs> so he looked like, don't go do it. You know, they riding around. The police sitting up there. I just was like, fuck it. I'm about to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm light jeans. So everybody do. Man. And he just shook his head. He gave me his jacket. He was like, baby girl, just go to the car. I'm like, fuck it. God damn. <laughs> I, I ain't told a couple of my drum moments. I think the only one I didn't tell was uh this one night. Damn, what's that club that's off the? Is it Vondi's on the River? Mm-hmm. I think it is. River Rock, nigga. It's like no. Nah, it's across the street from over there. But uh, mm-hmm. we was the we was going out. Uh, me and my dog Weez, I think his nephew or whatever, little young dude, or whatever. And uh, we were drinking this junk called Three Sixty. Like some cheap vodka or whatever. That shit sounds like a bad idea, yeah. nigga. Like, yeah, it's, it's terrible. So we drinking that, and then in the midst of me drinking that, I'm uh, I'm drinking those four locos or whatever. This so nigga, it's, it's bad. So uh, we doing that whatever, and uh, we get inside. So as soon as we get inside, I'm just super drunk. So then um, I see this girl that I used to go to <laughs> high school with or whatever, and um. At the time, I'm in a relationship with my son, mom, or whatever, so they know each other and stuff like that. So I'm so drunk, I'm not even putting two or two together. So I'm keep bothering this girl, like keep messing with her and stuff. And next thing I know, I'm picking. They say 
I don't remember. I picked her up, and I'm not that type of person, you know. That I pick her up, and I'm dancing with her like we, like we get freak nasty on the dance floor. But I'm bumping the DJ uh, booth the whole time, and then Weezy like, dog, chill, put her down, nigga. That's your girlfriend. That's her friend. <laughs> and I'm like, not putting it together, not understanding. So I, he said, I kept saying, I apologize to him, kept telling him sorry, sorry, sorry. And then when we got in the car. I guess we was in front of my house, and I didn't know. I said, let the window down. I still threw up in his car. <laughs> so I threw up in his car, went in the house. That's when I told you I bust my head, going in the basement, woke up butt naked with my mama's cell phone <laughs> on the couch. <laughs> I don't know why I was got her cell phone, because I have a cell phone. Right. But my clothes in the basement. I got her phone. I'm naked. <laughs> and I'm on her couch. And just like, now that was it, dog. Like, yeah, and I, can, I never drink a Four Local or a 360 again. Like, whenever you drink some cheap alcohol at... Three, six, you know you about to fucking your whole night about to turn all the way around yeah, like this shit. About to have a great story. That's what it is. Yeah. So right. yeah, and I don't think she had a girl ever told. So uh, good looking though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, that DJ about to. I guess he about to smack me up though. I kept fucking his table though. Dog. I don't know. Yeah, well, that was some good stories, man. Well, shit, I know we got some stuff to do, parties to go to. Uh, Lance, you know, he got stuff to do. I guess I, you know, what I'm saying. <laughs> Get it people, here. get it people, y'all, uh, y'all social media, and tell motherfuckers a goal that you got for goddamn twenty, goddamn twenty. Um, Aaron at Desire My Image, that's D E S I R E M Y I M A G E, and my goal for twenty twenty is to uh, I've been procrastinating on starting a business for years, so uh, hopefully I can do it this year. Bad, bad, bad. What's that? What type of what type what you got in mind? Well, a couple. Uh, I want to do a t-shirt business. I definitely want to do a travel agency, and you definitely could do that. You've been everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's it for this year. Yeah, I got. Oh, I got the clothes line coming up, y'all. Y'all, y'all, stay tuned for this shit, cause. Go ahead, Lance. You know what I'm saying. Tell them know what's going on. That's all, that. that what's, what's that? That's on Instagram or what? Everything. Uh, it, well, on everything. Yep. Mm-hmm. Instagram, Facebook. I ain't my space too. <laughs> 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 um, all the ladies can follow me at DeLorean Hill on Instagram. Spell that shit, girl. Nah, DeLorean <laughs> Hill. Shut one up. One word. <laughs> shit. How you spell it? Cause I couldn't spell yeah, you it. You would spell DeLorean. That shit's simple. Is it D E L O R E N? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, what about my Facebook? Girl? You want to call Facebook? Nah, hell no. Nah. I don't. <laughs> And you niggas on Facebook. <laughs> Damn. Like interested in adding me no fucking way, but you Facebook, know. Facebook a little bit more personal, huh? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, and also this this fool didn't say like I'm a EP in his um his project that's coming out sometime this year, I guess. I'm and not he, a rapper. He got all. he gotta get out his uh his cash money birdman, Lil Wayne shit. So yeah, we got that we got that coming out and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, for they followers to follow me on Instagram at Sean versus everybody underscore podcast. You feel me? Oh yeah, nigga, what's your goal for 2020, fool? Um, predi- you get my predica? Nah, this year. <laughs> this year it's all about the wealth. Man. So we gonna drink yes. yak, eat steak like we don't care for our health. This fool's stupid, man. All right, man. Shit, that was a. Uh, the little good episode I had with the family jump man and uh if you didn't learn anything from today you learned that um I guess you could eat edible panties um uh you could use ass beads and um you can go ahead and pee on yourself peace out <laughs> <laughs>